All week long, we've been rocking the cradle of Confederation. Welcome back to Charlottetown and the 1999 Scott Tournament of Hearts. And who will be the team to have their name engraved on the Scott Tournament of Hearts Championship Trophy? Nova Scotia in 1982. Colleen Jones from Halifax put her name there. And now all these years later, she's back and into a final. And so is the defending champion, Team Canada, Kathy Borst, a year ago in Regina, claiming the crown as Canada's queen of curling. And now they're set to meet. Team Canada looking to defend. Jones looking to win her second Canadian title here in Charlottetown. It was a so-so start for Team Canada. But they put it together, made the playoffs, and now it's a three-step defense of their title. They've taken two steps, one more game, and she'll be there. They have had their blue noses out in front the entire week. Nova Scotia, led by Colleen Jones, won their first eight in a row. Now they face a game they don't want to lose. The dream became a reality June 1st, 1997, with the opening of this engineering marvel, the Confederation Bridge, linking PEI and New Brunswick, and turning a 75-minute crossing by ferry into a 12-minute drive over the 13 kilometers of bridge. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to TSN's continuing coverage of this 1999 Scott Tournament of Hearts. And on this championship day for one of the two teams in the final, well, this bridge will lead directly to the Ford Worlds in St. John, New Brunswick. And who will it be? Both are former Canadian champions. We have the reigning queen of Canadian curling, Kathy Borst, Team Canada, out of Edmonton, going against the 1982 Canadian champion, Colleen Jones, from Nova Scotia. It's all on the line as we go to the Civic Centre. Lyndon Ray. 13 kilometres of bridge. 13 trips to the Scott Turma Hearts for Colleen Jones. There's a lot at stake in this game, Linda. Well, during round robin play, we talk about what it takes to make the playoffs. We talk about consistent team performance. We talk about the ability to regroup after a loss. Well, not today. There is no tomorrow, as we always say. And this game is all about pressure. And it's a lot of things at stake. First of all, of course, that trip to the Ford Worlds in New Brunswick. Then, the bye to the 1999 JVC TSN Women's Skins game. And of course, a berth as Team Canada next year in the Scott Tournament of Hearts in Prince George and a big carrot, the birth into the Olympic trials for the 2002 Olympics. If we look at these two teams, Ray, and we say they have experience, most of the experience for Nova Scotia is Colleen Jones and those 13 trips, and of course, two mixed national titles as well. I believe when we talk about pressure, it's Team Canada that maybe has the edge. Right through the lineup, Kathy Borst, of course, two junior titles coming back as defending champion, has a solid lineup. Heather Godberson, of course, world junior champion. They have the experience that may be the edge. It's a big game for sure and a lot at stake, as you mentioned, Linda. But both these teams have been to the world championships before. One of them will get to a chance again to win that particular title, the world title that got away from them. It's a game that takes big shots, a lot of pressure. Both have experience. This should be a terrific match. Colleen Jones and Nova Scotia against Team Canada headed by Kathy Borst. That's the matchup here in the final of the 99 Scott Tournament of Hearts. TSN is pleased to present the Scott Tournament of Hearts Final, brought to you by Scott Paper. It's a sold out Civic Center in Charlottetown as we play for the championship trophy of the Scott Tournament of Hearts. Four teams making the playoffs. Nova Scotia's win over Manitoba. Connie Lalaverde put it right through to the final, but it's been a two-step process so far for the defending champions, winning over Saskatchewan, then Manitoba, and now into the final, hoping to defend. 
Three steps, she said, Kathy Borst. The ice has been wonderful all week thanks to the hardworking crew headed up by ice makers B.J. Gagnon, second from the left, and Lloyd Stanzel. Time to read the ice now, what we might expect, and here's Ray. We've had a terrific ice surface all week thanks to those guys, and it all leads to the final. It's got lots of curl going around the center guard, about two and a half to three with both turns, no problem. So you can get behind those center guards. Going around the corner from the inside out, three to three and a half, it may get as high as four. And from the outside in, we're talking about two feet of curl, they'll hold all the way on the ice and then break at the end. Now this ice is a little tricky, so you have to be able to read it. The key is, of course, the line on the edge of the forefoot. When you're playing outside that line, the ice has a tendency to run, run straight, maybe break a bit at the end. The secret also for brushers is this slide path. When to get on the stones. You gotta get them early, because out in this area here, as they break into the slide path, out here someplace, you have to pick up the sweeping and be careful, because they will dig in in this area as the game progresses and flattens out. It's been a great surface, two tremendous teams with experience. This should be a fantastic final. Kathy Forst and her team from the Otwell Curling Club in Edmonton, finishing with a record of seven and four. Getting into the final four, that was the first goal. Then she realized three steps to defend the title. She's taken two of them so far with wins over Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Colleen Jones tied for first with Manitoba, was given second place by virtue of a loss to, Co to Connie Laliberti. And then she won the rematch in the quarter and got the bye into this final. So we're all set. It's the championship game for the first time on TSN. Nova Scotia, by virtue of their first place finish, had choice of rocks, and they were given the hammer. So they'll play the yellow, and to get us going here in this first end at the Civic Center, the Team Canada lead is Kate Horn. Well, Vic, when you consider that list that uh, Linda went through in our opening, uh, there is a lot at stake in this game. There's no question. You know, the, the Olympic trials, the skins, the trip to the world, as I mentioned earlier, uh, to be able to, to maybe win that title that got away from both of them. Uh, you know for sure that uh, after 13 trips to the Scott Derma Hearts, that Colleen Jones would you know, to love to get back. It's been a long haul for her. Kathy Bors is our reigning no, champion. No, 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 no. She's a big shot player. We saw it in the first end yesterday against Manitoba when she made a sensational shot. So it's got all the elements. Uh, this is going to be nothing but entertainment. So good morning, Canada. And Linda, this isn't unfamiliar. We've seen this trend Please. from day one, draw one, last Saturday into the uh, rings for stone. When we talk about pressure, one way to respond to the pressure and get everybody calmer is to keep it a little open, especially in the first end. I didn't doubt that this would happen. Both of the teams trying to get settled down, adjusting to the ice, what we may see today, kind of picking up some new trends. And these are the ice times we expect. Got a little fooled in the semifinal, but about nine and a half seconds for takeout, 12 seconds between the hog lines for hack, 13 and a half to 14 seconds for draw, and about 15 and a half seconds for guard. The big one is draw weight. We saw in the semifinals, the ice did flatten out a bit. Will it today? Back line to first hog for sweeping is 3.8 seconds. Hog to T, about 24, just over 24. And the full distance of the sheet, about 28 seconds. But it's as they draw into the center ice part of the sheet later in the game that will be crucial and may really come down to who wins the game. Well, this trend is, uh, we expected. Uh, Kathy threw the first stone in. Colleen has the hammer, last rock. And uh, she, that team has been a little bit more conservative Whoa. all week, Linda. Whoa. I'm speaking Please. about Whoa. Nova Scotia, Colleen Jones. They've played it uh, yep. a little bit more Whoa. conservatively. Yeah, okay, we yeah. know Kathy will make her move for sure when she has last rock. Colleen is a little more cautious, and I'm sure that she'd like to get through four, five, or six ends without having to push the button. I think, uh, in my opinion, I think Kathy Boris, the minute she has that hammer, she will take a run at uh, Nova Scotia. Stop. Brenda Bomer, last year's MVP at the Scott Tournament of Hearts in Regina. 
this first end, everybody wants to have a nice throw in the semifinal. Brenda was getting the rock started a little bit, and the ice was very release sensitive. The sweepers were on the takeouts, especially early for Brenda, so that was a very nice throw. Regular. You talk about the experience of Jones at Please. skip for Nova Scotia 13 times. Linda, I mean, there is whoa. other experience. Whoa, whoa. Kelly at six oh. times the third. Marianne Way, this is now her second trip. And oh, Della Hunt, her third. Okay. Uh, does that mean anything when it comes down to this game? Because those others haven't been to a final before. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking big game experience may be a part of the story today. Now, it really depends on how each of the players comes out, motivates themselves, and settles the nerve. It's that fine balance between being relaxed enough and yet energized so that you're ready to play every shot. And it's my feeling that people like Team Canada are a little bit more able to control the nerves and just play the game. Not, not think about the outcome, not think about all those things at stake. It's true, Linda. I, I think, however, that it, uh, with Colleen's experience, she has a tremendous influence on that team of hers. And uh, uh, all week long, we saw how casual, how calm, how controlled uh, sh she was uh, with the team. Uh, they're both, the interesting thing I mentioned in the reading the ice notes, that it really, it, <clears throat> we get down to the final four, Saskatchewan, Regular. only Cindy Street really uh, didn't yes. have a lot of experience, but Manitoba, Hi. Nova Scotia, and uh, Team Canada, Hi tremendous amount of experience and it paid Hurry off up. during the week and obviously in the page playoffs because the reading of this ice and one thing Kathy did and she showed us again yesterday she's very definite uh, Heather Godbertson is a young experienced player she's been a world junior champion she's been to the world championship and uh, she has a lot of input in the game with uh, uh, with Kathy but Kathy makes those final decisions now Colleen is exactly the same way in, uh, with her team. Yes, you take the input, help me a little bit with the ice, but when I tell you this is where the broom goes, this is where it goes. Top four. Four foot. Yep. Yep. Hard. We got four. No, we don't. Got Heather Godberson, as we play third stones in this first stand. And they'll drag it top eight. And this really will be, Regular. to me, an interesting matchup yep. at third. Kim Kelly does have lots whoa, of Scott Tournament whoa, of Hearts whoa, experience, whoa, whoa. but we've seen so many yep. great games from Heather Godverson. Once it gets into the nice more throw, complicated Kim. style game, I think it may be the third position that really okay. makes a difference. They all played a whale of a game, though, in that quarterfinal against Manitoba. Yes, they did. And right along the whole week, as, as Nova Scotia was, was rattling off eight straight wins, and, and granted, they did lose their last three, you wondered when, you questioned when the bubble might burst for Nova Scotia, when that lack of experience might even come into play. And after she lost three, I think there was no doubt we questioned whether she could even get through the quarter, but they responded very well. And Ray's right, it's been, an, I think, Colleen really her manner has been very cool she has the kind of job too that she's got pressure every day at work and she's been to lots of championships so colleen really has the experience and has done a great job with this team if we talked about the aggressiveness of these two teams if we compare during round robin play how many of the total shots they played as draws team canada slightly more aggressive at 49 percent of the total shots as draws compared to nova scotia at 46 percent there was a number of other factors too and it did lean to Kathy Borst and her team playing more draws Heather getting things control. going a little yeah. earlier in the game and maybe right. forcing the issue See a bit more a roll to the left Ray, it was you that said that 84% doesn't really do no. Kathy Borst justice she made a huge shot in the first end first Yes, we're we're up here. Here. No, firm up from yours. Well, not, to not very often you see Heather Godbertson miss two uh, shots back Please? to back. Maybe not. Whoa, and when the, your third does I'm that, you're right usually better. put in a position where you have to make a big shot. Okay, shot. shot. Nine, four. 
Yesterday, uh, Team Canada against well. Manitoba and Pawnee Lalaverde over the Fort Rouge in Winnipeg. First end with Manitoba having the hammer, and Kathy Borst is looking at a very difficult situation. She has to run a rock back and look at the roll she gets. It looked like Manitoba would get off to three point start, but no, sir, a great roll. Connie missed the run back the out, and steal of one. On Big game. Big shot. As Team Canada went on to a 10-4 win in the semifinals. Edge of the rock, Kim. Full edge. <laughs> there is no doubt she is more deliberate. You'll see her walk behind the sheet, take a drink, set herself. She right has up. purposely, yeah. Linda, tried to slow yeah. herself yeah. down. Right she up. felt hard in years right previous hard that she may be hard. rushing things. And if okay. that's well, the case, then she has over. found what she Very needed hard. to do because she Very. is more relaxed. I guess that was one of my points about having experience in big games. It's hard until you've been in this position to know what it takes to make you the best you can be. What should you do before every shot? What should you do before every game? And so Colleen has figured out the perfect routine for her, and it's not easy to do. Kathy will try and get uh, this one a little covered. She'll be careful not to take uh, too little, little ice, rather. I can tell you that. There's wouldn't want to have it curl Gloria. and bump that up. But if she can get it in behind, she can force Colleen to take the single, and then she'll have the hammer playing two. And that's uh, what she prefers to do all her gambling or all her make all her aggressive moves with the advantage of last rock. Team Canada, Kathy Borst, great mechanics. Tight. Have an early look at the draw speed. We thought it would be around 14 seconds. An early big brush for Bulmer and Horn as they try to drag it around the corner. Godberson will join them too. Great break, great curl here as it moves to the wings. And they'll tuck at least a half a stone into the eight. Lovely shot to start off with. Yes, you can see half of it, but Colleen now has to play a, a little more difficult shot. Touch less. I think she did too. It's moving, eh? I think that was a fault. Metro? Because I think 14, eh? <laughs> moving was the comment, and she's absolutely right. It, uh, you can get to the wings. We talked about that in the Reading the Ice segment. Three and a half, almost four feet of curl. And the confirmation of time, Linda, 14. Yeah, very close to 14 seconds. Nice throw. It's a great start for a skip to get the feel of the ice early. Well, Colleen's got to hit this on the outside, obviously, uh, because of the guard in front, and roll right across the rings to blank the end. As you might imagine, there's a lot of Nova Scotia support. It's become much easier to get to the island with the Confederation Bridge, so the crowd will react to yeah, everything. Yeah. That this lady does her final Hurry stone, guys, skip hey. stone here in the first. Nova Scotia's Hurry. Colleen Jones. Hurry, guys. Hurry. You're, well, you're way, Marianne. Hurry up. Good one, Colleen. Right right well thrown. <laughs> and out the back to blank here in one. Team Canada and Nova Scotia. A little bit of sigh. I got the first one out of the way, says Jones. She holds on to the hammer here in Charlottetown. Oh. I'm going to grip her. We're rocking the cradle of Confederation. Tommy James, the Shondells, Moni Moni. Not playing for Moni, we're playing for the Scott Tournament of Hearts Championship. If you're near your computer and you want to get a hold of us, let us know what you think of our season of champions. TSN.ca slash curling is our web address. Nova Scotia blanks the first. They'll maintain control of the hammer. This is Kate Horn. This is a very, uh, the leads, of course, as we've talked about this all the time, the placement of these stones is so important. Is this is a great matchup Art. with Kate Art. against Nancy Della Hunt. Uh, and the one all that uh, places those all stones, way, gets way, them in the, the right spot. 
we talk, Vic, all the time about playing against your opposition. I, I personally used to just play against the lead, make sure that uh, if I was at that position, I outcurled that lead. And if she did something or he did something that uh, was spectacular, I just was bound and determined to do it behind them. And that's, you know, how I, I kept myself alert in the game. And so Kate, uh, you know, Kate is going to have to be careful because Nancy, Nancy can play this game. Lots of experience as well. Yep. So Horn comes well, in again, Linda, yep, but this time yep, comes well, behind well, the T line yep, back four. Okay. Could have done something here, could they not? Go we next. don't expect Colleen to make any big move until uh, later in the game for sure. If she has a rock in the forefoot, she's not going to take any big chances. Not even tapping it back, not even trying that kind of offensive move. Not, not uh, especially not this early. You know, you may say that later on, but uh, I think Kathy will. Kathy will go right away. But not until she has the hand, yes. has the last rock. Quick! Hard! Hurry! Hurry! Great Hurry. sweeping. Brenda Bomer really gets a lot of pressure on that right. broom. What's up, Katie? You know, it's really interesting. We look at the line score from yesterday in the Kathy Boris Manitoba game. And uh, Connie uh, struggled. Uh, we talked while well, we showed you the, the big shot that Kathy made in the first end, but Connie kind of struggled a little bit through that game. But in the seventh end, she made a great shot to get two points. And, and in the eighth end, Vic, if you remember, uh, there was a rock thrown out in front. Kate Horn was going around it. She came up short, so basically a miss. And they have a, the, the Manitoba got a rock on the on the button. And then Debbie Jones Walker had a chance to come down and get sit in front of that. And Hurry that end would have was developing. Unfortunately, there were a couple of misses and it turned around and she gave up, Manitoba gave up a five ended with some great shots uh, by Kathy and Team Canada after that. But it's amazing what one shot, or, you know, especially early in the end can do to an end, you know? Like that. So the rock wasn't in the forefoot. Like that. So Colleen did the, take the chance to draw to the side, knowing that the forefoot would stay open even if there was a miss. One came up a little short, so Team Canada will go back to the center of the sheet and try and draw the play back that direction. Gotta go! Top 12! Just fighting! Whoa, guys! Stay close! No, we're at full, full late. Maybe biting four. No, we don't want to. When you make a move like that, as Colleen did, you really have to be careful. Okay, you at least get down to the stone and you tap it back. It's coming up short in that situation. It's a little difficult, but here's a chance for Colleen to get a little roll <coughs> in behind the uh, corner guard. And this young lady got uh, the rolls all week long. Mary Ann Wade. She made some no. great hit oh, rolls. Oh, oh. Control. Oh, gotta come across that line. No. Gotta come, though. Hunt. 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 No roll. Kelly. Yeah, no roll. Wow, oh, they lost yeah. it. Just depends on the handle. Yeah. Good. Okay. And it won't stay in play. Canada Games beginning its second week in Corner Brook. The Canada Games prime time comes your way this evening at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Brenda Bomer. Kathy like wants that. this in the top 12, not the top eight. This is going to be on the right top 12, 12 so that uh, Colleen can't not get the roll. Same or a little top, bit more. Top of the 12 foot, middle of the 12 Take foot. Take it back further? No. Not too deep. No, okay, it's coming down. 12 foot. Yeah, coming down. full fighting eight. Nope, 12 only. She's that's fighting it. 12. 12 only is yep. right. That's, it. that's where job. she wanted it, and that's where she got it. It was a little less. <laughs> Looks like it's just a slide. Colleen could make I a move in here if she here, wanted, right here to here. or hit okay. this, and you'll see what she wants to Firm. roll there. Was she also looking at angles for a possible uh, double, or is yeah, that... she's looking at the angle for the double? And I don't blame her for hitting this. It's uh, Thank you, Mark. Uh, that walk in front is very dangerous. It's in that control zone. Hard. I mentioned on Marianne's first rock that she didn't have a lot of rotation on the stone, the and that's why it yeah, curled a lot. But this one seemed to be fine, and it still took off. Okay. Off the back of the corner and out of play. I got 8 2 on that. That peel. Is this the same ice as you, Bryn? Yeah. A little more? Okay. A little wider. 
Looks like lots. She's got a great uh, mental approach to the game. You know, she missed two shots in the first end. Yesterday, and she came down and said, what a way to get started. I'm brutal. You know, and she, and then, then her skipper came up with a real big shot for her. You heard her say, thanks, skipper. You got me off the hook. And that's how this game works. Yep. And then she shook it off and played yeah, well the rest of the game. Okay. Okay. Heather Godberson, top four. Hit it and try and roll it right in here like this. Kim Kelly. Yep. Hard. Whoa. Hard. Whoa. Control. Whoa. 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 Yep. Whoa. Hurry. Hurry. Okay. Hard. Looking for the roll behind yeah, 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 cover. Over. Nice shot. Could have left it a little bit more. Colleen was concerned after Marianne's two shots curled so quickly. Yeah, I like so that she too. anticipated the movement didn't curl quite as much. We've uh, seen a lot easy. livelier houses, and we probably will as we go on okay. uh, to the worlds and to the briar. It's not. There's nothing wrong with the the, uh, the surface. It's just that it's just a little. Uh, you know, it's a little deader than we have seen in the tassel. The rolls. See, really, Control. the brushing yeah, judgment easy. and whoa, calling on whoa. on those uh, kind of shots yeah, is really yeah. key. Big rush now, Palmer Horn have to sneak it by the corner first, then get the roll. Boy, she just got that by though. Heather, that was easy hit. Okay. And this is one thing we do say about Colleen, although it's early in the game Break and we her. understand why she's Close. playing the hit, Close. she yep. often will go to the hit and roll for Hard. Kim shots as Hard. opposed to a come Hard. around draw. Hurry her. Hurry. Hurry. Now it's the other front end Hurry. looking to scrub. Della Hunt, way. Okay. It'll stop for shot, back eight. Okay, control, yep. Oh, wait, she knows this. Okay. Get it on the nose. It's a big fuzzy right in front there. Kathy was tied with Cindy Street of Saskatchewan for the top spot after round robin play and shooting percentages. Fours to one back to back Canadian junior titles in control 77 eight. and 78, looking to become the first. Control. Oh, women's okay. player to do that. Right off. Right off. Back to back juniors and back to back yeah, national like titles. Okay, Kath. All right. And she can't yeah. hold the shooter. That's a big rollout because it gives Colleen a chance to play the come around. <coughs> the come around. Around this guard right here. Try to get the stone right into this in front of the T line. Five and a half, four and a half. Four point two pounds. Are you sure? Right in that area there. Marianne was even thinking more like four, but no, I, mean, I don't. No, I know, so. but I'm just saying that's the. And off she goes. Water. Looking for her water, looking for her drink. This has become the routine for Colleen. Now, would you take it and take it back and corner it too, Linda, if it comes that far? You'd prefer to leave it a little bit higher in the house so that it's difficult to move without jamming it onto that other rock. Titch less! Because even if we split exactly. these two on, yeah. Here, Nancy line, Delahunt line, say, needs it. Good. Hard, hard, hard for line. Hurry, needs it for weight now and line. Hurry, line. Hurry, line. Hurry, line. Delahunt and way. 
corner guard sneak it by if they can and they fail to get the split <coughs> and i think Just, the weight was perfect yeah they get that by they're going to be in yeah. the eight foot right behind the guard and shot rock so that little titch less yeah. she took Winning the championship last year in Regina over Ann Merklinger and then a third place finish at the Ford Worlds. And looking to get back to the Ford Worlds this year to be held in St. John, New Brunswick. And we'll be there. Throw it down, maybe. Got it right started, up, maybe. Right up, right up, right up. Right Horn, right Homer trying to hold right, it right, for their right. skip. No roll, no roll. Good, Good brush. It's a nice shot. Okay, that's it. Right on, control. Good brush. You can't hit that uh, front one and be shot rock, Linda. Oh, shot. That's good. Yeah, it's really yeah a little lighter good. weight. Through. Yeah, and it's running. They wouldn't have mind a small nice. roll to the side on the right to prevent Colleen from Brenner. playing the same draw Brenner. that she just played. Maybe would have made her take a little bit different ice and then she would be questioning perhaps the weight, but it's the same shot for Colleen. Do you guys like the double or this? I like this, you just threw okay. it. Same weight would be perfect. What Linda was saying is if you get the roll right into this area here, as opposed to sitting there, then this draw that she's playing now through this hole isn't there and it's the draw she just played a moment ago so she gets a chance to repeat the shot but it's difficult the 82 champion who lost in the final here in charlottetown to connie laliberti in 84 in her 13th appearance and a total of 23 nova scotia Titles. Now, after taking a titch less, did she add a Hard pinch yeah. more of ice yeah. for this? Hard. Her final stone. Line's fine. Tanner. Cover on wall. Line, wall for line. Wall for line. Hard for weight, then. Okay, go, go, go. You got, you got backing. Whoa, no, you need no, no backing. We're okay. Yeah, you do. No backing. Okay. Nice shot, Colleen. Nice shot, Skipper. Nice shot. <laughs> Snuggles up for one. Nova Scotia on the board first, here in the second of the championship game. All right, yeah. Team Canada okay. Horst okay. will have the hammer when we come back to Charlottetown. Take two now, okay. Good job, guys. Yeah. Good job. Let's get on her. It's the first key shot of the game, and it comes final stone in the second. Well, Linda made a good point about uh, the little roll for Kathy to take away this draw, and Colleen Jones makes absolutely no mistake. She gets a chance to repeat the shot, but you gotta make them, Linda. She's looking at two. She draws to the eight foot. Great rushing. They judged it all the way down. A good call on it. She knew the ice from the first shot. And there it is. Eight foot. A single point. Nice way to start. Kathy now has last rock. Team Canada, and you may have heard as we were just going it's to commercial, the first word out of uh, Kathy Borst's mouth was? Go for two. Exactly. So offense we expect to see right, now man. from Team Canada as the first stone from the Nova Scotia lead, Nancy Delahunt, winds up top four. And she's going to do it uh, by tapping it back, keeping it in play, just move it back. The other choice, of course, is to ignore it and throw up the corner guard. Asking lead Kate Horn to just come down to the stone and tap it back. Kate, who works for yeah. Empco Limited, yeah. distributors of plumbing Hurry products line. such as Delta and Kohler. Hurry, yep. line. Hurry for line. Hard. Hurry for line. Hurry for line. Hurry, 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 Nancy Delahunt, the mother of two. Whoa, you're fine. Whoa, whoa. Yep. Whoa, she has whoa. a very nice way with Colleen when Colleen's no, preparing no. to throw her rocks. Nancy is often uh, one to give a little bit of input, even maybe a little more than third Kim Kelly at times. And Nancy's a very calm, very positive person. Big 
big addition to this team, Nancy is. Where are we going here? Just in time again? Tapping it back, tapping it back. Easy. No line. Good line. No line good at line. all. It's good line. No backing. Okay, just clear. Right. Just there. You want to sweep. No, no line. Let's do it. We're no right line. on top. Little bump. Not yet. Not Come on now. Yeah. 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 Hard. Hard. Okay, hey, just about this touch. Good, good shot, baby. Keeping that rock, the Yellowstone in the back of the eight foot, keeping it in play to be able to try and use it to set up the deuce. Kathy Boris looking for two. Mary Ann Way, the native of Toronto, Thank but you. all her friends in Moncton, yeah. where she spent many years of saying, how comes we're not talking Whoa. about Moncton? Well, so if you want to say Whoa. hello to everyone there. You stay on Good the wing. Born in Toronto, but grew up in Moncton. Just to it. No bump. Some more ice. 78. Now we bumped it back, yeah. so we don't need to bump it again, Aileen. <laughs> Just down it's to it. It's at the back. Yeah. That's right. Got it back there. Mine's good. Brenda lives in Ball. That's where her farm where is. Are we? Just All there. 480 no acres. No backing, Heather. Fast, it's a fast spot. Just to it, no bump. Sorry, Greg. Good job. Nose is great to the nose. Nose, okay. And this is a great indication where the broom is positioned shows us how straight this edge of the four-foot band can be. Very, really sensitive. Whoa. Whoa. Can't put it out at all. Whoa. No. Can't hit it on the outside. Gotta, Gotta get more. to the nose. A little more, a little more, a little more. Get out. Enough to spin it out. No, it'll hang on. <coughs> well, a classic example of how you can That's score two thing. points or get a, yourself in a position to score Same two points. Thing, what? Same thing? Yeah, you could. Did she say? Yep, we could. Okay. Wait, Kathy was going to hit it. The suggestion came from this end just to uh, play down and freeze to it. Wait's good. We're right. Little Further bump. out. Bump. Further out here. Just cleaning. Oh, bump. No just line at bump. all. Line no good, line. Heather. No. Up. Up. Oh, we got top. Back 12. Just, just cleaning. Back 12. Back. Yeah, back 12. Coming now. No. Coming way down. Good shot. <coughs> we could sit and flop and hang on for yes. number one. Yes. Yeah. That would be nice. What are you going to throw? Regular? Yeah. Yeah. Kim Kelly, who is the pharmacist at the Queen Elizabeth II oh, no. Health Sciences no. Center. No, 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 no. Giddy? Okay, Kim. Friend, <coughs> there's a big scrape. Oh, now, every time they roll a shooter out and can hold it, is that uh, an advantage? Borst? Sure, if it had hung on on the Not side for second shot, there. it would have complicated the issue. The rocks are still fairly grouped, though, and that's the out? concern for Team Canada. Just, they yeah, don't want to set up a double. Be lying one and two. Okay. Just tapping it through. Okay. Just like back line weight. Stop. Okay. 75, Katie? 70, 75. Heather Godverson, the former world junior champion of 96, works for Payment Systems Corporation. No, 16. no, no. We got the weight. Queen. We're just there. Yep. Just there. No line. Yeah. Just there only. Yeah. Hard. Oh. Hard. Hard. Where are we? We did it. To get it through. Well, hurry. 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 Shoot. 
Are they surprised by the curl? That was just light. Is it stick, I guess. <laughs> Same way, guys. Mm -hmm. Doubles Whoa. there. Whoa. Whoa. Watch the double. No. Honey. No. Watch the double. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, go. We might just hit ours. Yeah. Good. Okay. Got the double. They had to wait for a long time. Is, Tap it out. Is that back one in? Yeah. No. Perfect. There's no. Play back line, wait. Okay. It's gonna move here, guys. Yeah. in a row, this front end has to scrub big time for Godverson. Bulmer, Horn, able to hold it, and they'll punch it out the back. Well, that shot was made with sweeping. Absolutely out of the hand. She was tight to the broom. The weight was perfect. But they held it up uh, all the way. Nice weight. Wait, a little tight, I thought. Yeah. You just look at Brenda, lean on the brush head. She's the one closest to the stone on the left of the rock. Just tremendous pressure. Gets all her body weight over the head of the brush, and that's exactly what you want to do. Terrific brusher. Okay. Or was that on the... Oh, it's an easy game, curling, eh? Yeah. Right in the nose. Sure. You think that isn't work? <laughs> Let me tell you, 10 ends of that. Better be in shape. Colleen, who works for CBC News World and whoa, appears guys, on water. the morning news. Yep. Hard. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Yep. Yep. Yes, no. Hard. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry hard. Sorry, Colleen. This allows no Kathy an open there. draw oh, now down to those yeah. two zones. Obviously, Colleen wanted to stay in the ring someplace. Yeah, I wouldn't have wanted to take the Remember extra. Top up there. Yeah. Let's go this way. Uh, that's where you threw last time, Kath. Yeah. And we came right here. You don't think that's enough, then? Eh? No, because we can sit here. Yeah. Thinking here more. Okay. And running as is her habit, Kathy Borst. Okay, with right the in hammer. the back, just freeze right to it. I don't know, but this is good. No, I just need to know for sweeping. Uh, this is where I threw the one in the first end. Okay, gotcha. Linda, she has the two on one scenario, two shots to one, looks to play down. Is it too late you guys think for her to here? try something like this, or would you maybe think, let's play it? cleanly, try and get out in blank and maybe try to generate something more in the next. I think this is a great chance. There's a little pocket. The rocks are just outside the ring, so the difficult part is not to remove them completely, just to sit in front of them and try and have them for protection. Now, this is a great opportunity, Vic. As Linda mentioned, you've got a nice little pocket there. And they'll get it to the T-line, eight foot. They want it right back into the pocket. Still coming down, eight. Yeah, we want it. But you see, I still say that we've been getting that, calling it 4.2. Over curl it just a bit. Colleen throwing the out turn very straight in this particular spot. She wants to hit it on the center line side to pass it by those ones at the back. No! 
Final stone for yes, Nova yes. Scotia. Yes, Team yes, Canada yes, with yes, the Parker, hammer. Yes. Parker. Rolling out again. For And it will go out the back, That's and fine. so it'll be a chance for Team blank. Canada to throw it through and maintain control of last rock. And Kathy O'Blanket, obviously, as you Keep mentioned, in, you Vic, keep the hammer, keep that last stone. But they have seen both in the first and third ends. This end is the amount of curl in the shots that Kathy has thrown to the wing. So those draws to the side are really moving. That's a great sign for later in the game if they want to get something going. So just an easy control, like soft, easy hit. Easy hit. Seeing the ice reaction to what they call easy hit ice. It remains 1 0 Nova Scotia here at the Scott Final. Well, this is it the world famous house depicted in Anne of Green Gables. And they told me if you come and visit Anne's house, well, you have to dress like Anne. Imagine what it must have been like to sit here at this table. This is where our Fathers of Confederation first sat in 1864 to discuss the union of our country. You really don't believe it until you see it. I mean, we've heard Stomp and Tom Connor sing about the bright red mud of Prince Edward Isle, and it's true. All the potato fields are bright red. We thought since we're in PEI and with the spud, the potato being king, what else can you do with a potato other than mashed and baked and french fry? You've got some great ideas. The second number is N40, N40, there it is. We only had two shows today, so uh, my bosses have farmed me out to help the Kiwanis and the uh, Shriners here at Big Country Bingo. O64, O64. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that hat is a great look on you, Vic. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Considering Anna Green Gables, that, <laughs> that beautiful story will never be the same because be, that image will be in everybody's mind. <laughs> Welcome back. If you're joining us for the first time, it's our pleasure to bring you the final of the Scott Tournament of Hearts on TSN as we move to the fourth. 1-0 Nova Scotia. And then we got calling Vic, Vic Rotator. <laughs> First stone from Nova Scotia is out in front, just off center guard, free guard zone. Not too bad. It really broke big time, Linda. Well, you mentioned in the reading the ice before the game that reading yeah. the ice today will be critical, and it has changed a little bit from quarterfinal Friday through semifinal Saturday and now into the final. And so, yeah, it's showing them a few surprises. Yeah, and that uh, is exactly what we talked about in the yeah. reading the ice uh, segment. When Line's we, great. That yes, wide uh, go, though, out her. turn come around. And we'll What's hold the all the way down, it's but when it makes there. it move, go, all the go, two go, feet go, of curl yeah, yeah, is in the yeah, last yeah, 10 or 12 feet. It really moved across. Whoa, Whoa, deep. Whoa, we'll play the split. Split it in. Right on. Go ahead. That'll work. Pretty nice shot. To lie two without. It's been a very wide open game so far, and we expect pretty good numbers when that happens. Curl's here, doesn't it? Yeah, mine moved. Yep. I'll make sure I keep it at control. Okay. But if what you say is true, you're looking to s for some confidence building. You want to feel good. You have to be happy. Definitely. Those numbers yes! show that people Three are throwing nine. very well. Let's go. Hurry! Yeah. Right up! Easy. Yep. Easy. Four! Three! Yep. Whoa, Three. Hurry! 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 Whoa! Six. Yep. Look hurry, at this hurry, roll. Hurry. Take a little bit more. What a beauty! Great shot by Kate. Okay, the old straight back. Or can you see any? I like the straight back. Straight back. Firm, eh? A little firm, I thought. Here's a look at a good call by Kathy, and the brushes stay on it all right the way. Here. You can see in position to get it over. In front of the T-line, two brushers. They wouldn't have minded, 
not rolling quite so no, far because the run back no, is a possibility no, no. still. If it hadn't rolled in the red. corner was peeking out. You never know what Nova Scotia yeah. would have played. Whoa. Marianne Way Whoa. trying to run it back. Oh, curl up, curl up. Nice shot. shot. <laughs> uh, she's, she's been terrific. Yeah, she really week. has. She's been uh, so consistent and she has got some great roles this week. Roles that have turned uh, ends around. Got a little bit of a just touches the rub the there and drove it back. Yes! Quick, Brenda Bomer here in the fourth. Hard! 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 Right out of her hand, they were shouting. Hard! Horn and Godverson oh, no. on the front one. Hey, Brenda was doing this okay, a little bit yesterday. It's just a slight cut, turn cut. with the hand on release. Nice wait. Guard, okay. Well, she outcurled all the other seconds all week long, so it's uh, you're always a little shocked when Brenda doesn't hit them perfect, you know. And yesterday, as well as you mentioned, Linda, she did get a number of stones started. We call it just kind of at the on the get release, the just getting it going a little bit, and then they're really hard to it's quite short. to hold up. Hard all the way. Brushing can do a lot, but Every inch, then. they're not magic wands. Whoa, then. Whoa. Yep, yep, yep. You can still see. Hard all the way. I think one of the funniest things I've ever seen in Good. curling it uh, involved Dave Romano and uh, and uh, Oris Melischuk. And, and Oris was very vocal, as we all know, and, and he was shouting <laughs> and screaming at the stone, Normal. this draw he was making and shouting. And it got to the hog line, and yep. he Normal. was still screaming at them. And David Romano said to him, Oris, it stopped. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do? I can't yes. get it going. Although, considering Orst and the uh, way he yelled, the stone might just jump for him. <laughs> no, no. Uh, he's a great competitor, no, no. a wonderful what? player, what? still very competitive. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Opens it's up the center, hot. but it's still Nova Scotia without the hammer, line one, top eight. <clears throat> so he didn't look like he had much of Colleen made a yet. terrific Pike draw in two. <laughs> facing two of the Team Canada rocks. Had a couple of rollouts, which brought the number down. Tight, you guys. Should be pretty good, guys. Kim Kelly. Let it bend a bit. Where, what kind of weight is it? Uh, what? A little tighter, tighter than halfway. Well, you gotta get it coming here, because we need it to curl. You, we're, yeah, we yeah. Maybe in. It's coming on its own. Yes or no? No, yeah. no. Not too tight. That's good. <laughs> good. That's a good guard. <laughs> Same as Brenda, normal. Heather Godberson. Got yeah. The yeah. Whoa. Big brush, try to hold it, maybe run it back, get them both. Get up, get up, get up, get up, keep going, keep going, keep going. Still leave it, but it's not center line. Well, she got it off the button, or off the, uh, out of the forefront, she suggested. Kim uh, kind of uh, rivals Graham McCarroll Careful, for getting guys, in the hack and throwing. I don't think we'll be seeing any telestrating with <laughs> Kim shots. You could never get one of Graham McCarroll. I don't I? think to this day have Me? I had the chance to telestrate one of Graham McCarroll's stones because you never get a chance to get Whoa. it in. Graham McCarroll, the third for Whoa. the reigning world champions of Wayne Madaw. Wayne was here all week Kim. watching uh, his wife play, Sherry Sharich. I think it is a little quicker. I think that out turns. Slips that one I back. Can see back 12. Like hack? Do I need hack, wait. Yeah, board. How much can you see of it? Just under half. Just hack. Hack. Okay. Chance for Heather to get the roll. That stone of Kim mm -hmm. Kelly's going deep gives Team Canada a chance to go after this one. 
it's interesting though, Linda. I mean, this is a tough little shot to get the perfect roll. I mean, she she does have Hello, last rock. She could go right around the center herself. Yeah. Yeah. Out of her hand, it's Horn, Horn and Bomer. Called off. Whoa, whoa. Well yeah. by the corner. Whoa. Looking for the roll to the middle. Sit in time. It'll sit for shot, but it's back edge of the four. It's wide open. They had said they could only see about half, so this is a nice shot with hack weight. Just rolls a little bit too far. Think she's in the game at all, Vic? <laughs> Always. We call her the slider. She moves around that ice like a panther. Look at that, huh? She didn't stick out the leg that time. No. Moved back in the crease. Didn't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she moves around like a goalie <laughs> yeah. in the crease. And sometimes she puts out the leg to make the pad save. And Heather Godperson. I don't want to take more ice there because um, I, I can't fine. afford the hang. It's on the yeah. line there too. Yeah, except, well, it's moving, you guys. Yeah. The draws are yeah, kind of gorgeous. So, yeah. Good comment. Sure are. Yeah, hard! Hard! Real hard! Hurry! Hard! She get it started. Hurry! Can they sneak it by the guard? They do. And look at that roll. Nice brushing. Does it ever go there, eh? Yeah. Well, the, draw, the draws are going so nice. Like, yeah. I gave you almost to the edge of yeah. the 8 and the 12. And it came even with back line all yeah. over there, yeah. But the idea of widening up didn't quite appeal to me. No. Yeah. Just needed a tiny bit more ice so that it didn't roll out the other side. Just tapping this one back. She's going to take advantage of the stone that's in the rings, try and tap it back a little bit and get a little flip in behind the guard. So wait like here. Tapping it back, tap it back a little bit just to the 12 foot and try and roll right in behind the guard. I don't know the time. Horst and her first for Team Canada. Got the ball on its own. No, off. On its own, we got. Almost half. Oh. Pull. Can I clean it? Clean. No. Clean. Pull. 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 Heavy Pull. according to the front Pull. end. Pull. 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 Just clean. Yeah, and we'll sit right there and punch the stone out the back. Yeah, she didn't want to take it out of the ring. She wanted to have it uh, stay in the back 12 foot if it just uh, touched it too much like weight. It's but... jamming back there. Just roll it to the You can see uh, you can see the positioning of the guard and where she'd like to roll to. She'd like to roll it over into here. That'll come up. Yeah. Okay. Oh no! Control. Do I there? And if hack no, weight is too much, Linda, what kind of weight would you be looking here? Do you want to play back line for this shot? Yeah. Hack. Mm -hmm. hack. I think they're sticking okay. with yeah, hack. More. Whoa! <laughs> Just gotta go take a look at that. Here's an example of Colleen just taking her time. Yes, they have time clock, 73 minutes plus two one minute timeouts, but she just wants to okay. make sure for her rocks, Even just a tip she's left. absolutely positive about the ice and the weight. This looks good.
really hanging. Whoa! Curl up! Curl up! Curl! Curl, curl! curl. Under the curl. urging of Jones, did curl it curl up. for her? No. <laughs> Sits right there, lies to. It's a nice shot, though. You should be careful. Just didn't get the movement, Linda, that she wanted. And I'm finding that it has a lot of curl withdraw weight, and they're just trying to find that spot to put the broom or to bring down the weight from Hack to get that little roll. That's still a really nice shot. Forces Team Canada to take the point. What was my kick? Uh, 37. That was kind of happy. Colleen Jones faced a couple of Team Canada rocks in the second end and responded well to the pressure. Now it's up to Kathy Borst. Yes! Yes! Right out of her hand, you could hear Godverson calling on. Bomer and Horn. And from the other end, Borst urging them to get it by this long center guard. She's facing a couple. Crash in front. And now where will it stop? She'll give up a steal of one for sure. Yeah, she got that started right out of her hand, you could see. Nova Scotia and Colleen Jones. Lead it 2-0 through four here in Charlottetown. Well, they met last Monday night in the eighth draw of 17. And Nova Scotia, as you see, blew it really open with three and a four to win 11-3. And by comparison with a 2-0 lead now. Yeah, they were really flat, uh, Team Canada, that particular game. And uh, Colleen played a very, very well and uh, gave him a bit of a cuff. But you can see as well what both Linda and Ray have suggested is the conservative nature of Nova Scotia in the first five ends. It definitely was Team Canada during round robin play that went earlier and tried a few things, a few more things with Stop guards more. in particular. But now they're going to have to uh, try a few things, Ray. That, that last end really Ready. was just Kathy Borst a little bit uh, heavy on perhaps on the first guys. and inside on the second shot. Yeah, she just definitely threw it inside. You could hear uh, Heather Godbertson right out of her hand give it uh, the, the big shout. So they couldn't they couldn't carry it they rolled in for the for the to cut down the second shot and that was a little bonus in that situation uh, 75 75 tight for nine what is one yeah gotta go let's go what is it 91 yeah hard then hard all the way all the way all the way this is the throw into the, three, to the free guard five, zone five, area. Five, you got to get this one in. That's your corner five. guard. That's how you can generate the extra point. And down two nothing. You'll need that extra point. Good job. Wow. Okay. Can heavy No, she threw it like. Yep. Okay. Woo. Yep. okay. Yep. okay. Because that rock is just in the 12 foot, Colleen would like it tapped up. Just uh, just T. Close. Yeah, close. T, toe close. close. Come. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. No, it's okay, I think. It's top four. Yep. Yep. Hurry yard. Oh. Not quite. Good job. Six. Can bump it right to Short the track line. speed skating. Highlights coverage, second week now of the Canada Winter Games from Cornerbrook tomorrow, noon Eastern time here on TSN. Still sticky still. Yeah, ready for Yeah. Kate Horn. Just yes, tap. Line. Hard. Hurry line. Hurry. <laughs> Not enough weight for that yeah, shot. Too. I'm gonna move a couple of stones around. 
Nova Scotia with a nice chance here to remove that rock and their two stones are in pretty good position. It's interesting though, it seems that Team Canada is a Regular. little bit inside yep. on a lot of shots. Hard. That's often a sign of Hard. the muscles being a bit tense, maybe trying to overreach, Whoa. over perfect a shot Watch rather it. than just throwing the rock. Good. That's good. Marianne Way. Good shot. On the nose, she said, if you get a little hit on the uh, outside, you can get the roll and the double. No, no line. Off, Heather, no line. Brenda Bomber. We're on the front. We're on the front. Come over. Come over, come over, come Make over. Make a move for her. Okay, Ren. It's so straight. It's it is. I know that too. <laughs> she just uh, obviously got that outside. Came with the, on the release. It looked fine, Linda. Just that she must have just, just come right, right down the slide. Her much, uh, target yep. path uh, outside. She, Nancy was there for the ice. Okay. All right. Just actually, yeah. Just back. Just throw back four. Because even if you just bump a little bit, she's tightened it anyway. Yeah. Where are they going? Just, uh, I think they're tapping. Tapping it back. Same shot they it's tried a tea, moment ago. I think. No, wait's good. We it's can it. wait on it. Nice line. Wait, bump, wait. Whoa. 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 Yeah. Yeah. a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Boy, look at that takeoff. It really comes across there. We know that. Hurry. Just needs to, needs a little bit more weight just to give it up. <laughs> Starting to uh, dig in a little bit in that slide pad, Linda. Yeah. Yeah. Something the sweepers will really have to out. watch as the game progresses. Yeah. Now, this is a mess for Team Canada. Yeah, last end, things didn't go that badly until Kathy had problems, mostly, of course, on her last rock. This is a mess, and it's been from mistakes. Yeah, quick, free! you got to remember that round robin game, maybe oh, in the back of her head a little bit, where she gave up a lot of free! points uh, when, in her free! attempts to get points. She Sometimes they don't work. Great that job. gets three moving. Two out and moves the other one to the edge of the 12. Nice shot by Brenda. They were just lined up perfect for her. Touch more weight on that shot and you got all three of them. Yeah, roll. I mentioned before yep. Brenda Bomer, the cleanup hitter coming Whoa. in. Does no, a nice no, no, job no, with no. the up whoa, weight. Whoa. I'm the side of your head. No, no. He's Good. there. Nice, Kim. <laughs> Do you like the hit and roll? Why doesn't she? Kathy wants to make a move. Team Canada's down two points. They have the last rock advantage. She wants to uh, make a go here. It will curl. We've seen it with Nova Scotia's attempts and these bumps. It will definitely curl in this spot. Too tight for line. Heather Godverson. Yeah, Two nothing Nova yeah. Scotia leading as we play here in five. Look at it start to scoot now. Can Bomer and Horn hold it? All way back, all the way back. T line wait. Boy, they're really starting to dig in. We saw this in the midweek, Linda. That's a great line, but once they start to die, you, you, this is where I, I mentioned the reading the ice section. I've mentioned it a couple times during the week, and you've got to get on the murder. You have to take a chance. Okay. I think the run back's easier in this particular spot. Okay. It's curling so hard with the pick. This spot is very consistent. Kim Kelly tried to run it back. Hurry, hurry, hurry. That's the corner, now it goes.
They're for real this team. Good nice sweeping, shot. held Thanks. the line. Rolled a little bit, so it does give Heather Godberson another chance to try the come around. And is that stagger now of Yellowstone's a little bit of an advantage Ryan! if Team Canada can get Ryan! one around? It might be a little bit better for them. Mm -hmm. Again, Ryan! trying to hold it as oh, it breaks Ryan! hard. Ryan! Keep going, keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Roll it over, roll it over. Whoa, whoa. Okay, good job. Whoa. Same kick. Eyes tight on you guys, sorry about that. That is probably their out. Yeah. Force them to one, that's fine, eh? What do we do with that? Hit, hit it. But we don't want to hit it on the nose, right? No. No. Just hit. You know what, and watch over. that. That's we right, because on. that should get on. Yeah. You're right. Okay, good. Just make sure I'm on this side. Yeah. <coughs> this email from Estevan, Saskatchewan, brought to you by Ford. Didn't Colleen Jones also win this year's Canadian Mixed Final? Has anyone ever won two championships in the same year? And Boy, the answer is no. Yes, and yes, um, no okay, and yes. No one, <laughs> yes, she did win the uh, Canadian Mixed Championship, That's and right. no, there hasn't been anybody. And what thing that really shows me is Colleen has performed since mid-January when she curled so well at the Mixed in Victoria, right through the Scott Tournament of Hearts for about a month and a half. She's had her game at the very top. And that's tough to do. She would like this game very much to get to the Worlds, and then she would go home and say to Paul Fleming, it's your turn. <laughs> Paul Fleming, you're her, next. Her skip at the mix, winning the title this year, will represent yeah. Nova Scotia in the Labatt yeah. Briar in Edmonton. Hurry, guys. Hurry. 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 With it starting to curl so much, then are you guessing over exactly what ice to take? Guessing a little bit and even guessing a little bit with the weight because it is starting to slow, especially when it hits the house. Now Colleen has put the pressure on. She has a number of stones in the house, but for Kathy Borst, the front is open and the stones are only in the 12 foot, 8 foot area. And this turn, as they start to die, they, they really dig in. So as a brusher, you have to be aware of that and get it early. Once you think it has the right weight, then you can just uh, get on it and take it all the way because it will dig in at the end when you come off of it. It's better to guess a little wrong and be deeper so that Colleen has to play down to it. At least you're sure that the front's going to be open than to leave it short. Because it's seeming to slow down we're thinking maybe 13 and a half seconds at the hog line is the right time so that would be heavy Kim Kelly looking to draw it out the back and it'll stop back edge of the eight did you see how that dug in Linda that's definitely exactly what did. we're talking about I mean, and she was definitely heavy uh, you know and the brushers never laid a, a stick on it she got it fully covered actually and Colleen has no uh, option but to come down to it Put a okay. 10 on it. Okay. <coughs> Sounds like it surprised her too. Well, she could have thrown less weight and got it to the same spot by brushing it. It's just that the, she got, you know. What was that one, you guys? And then the for odd the time you get fooled, and that we saw mm -hmm. during the week, or the odd time you're waiting for it to Can't fudge, and you maybe line. you're, you know, on just a little a bit of a fresh pebble and it just line. slides. Is it shot back there? Yeah. Trying to tap it back. You mentioned backline weight. Clean. Only. No, 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 no. Line no, on no, one. No, back eight. Back eight. Whoa. Hard then. Hard's going to go. Hard. Whoa, Here it hard. goes. Line. Hard. Back 12. OK, go. No, whoa, go. whoa. 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 To it, Kim. It's only yeah, to it. Whoa. Right up to it. Whoa. Make sure you're here. Easy. No bad. Oh, they left it. And can it be squeezed out now for two? Kim had, that's, that was Kim's interference there. It's one of those things. I mean, I'm not yep, going to pick play, on her, but they could have got that right to the face Oof. with no problem like just by staying hat, with it. I'm just thinking back line. 
We can tap through here. We, we take... have to make sure you get one here. This yeah, is that's not a problem. That's the thing. If we use this for backing, if you take the same ice, a little less ice, we're going to be great. We can't slip this one as we go by and roll out either. We you know won't roll out. We're not throwing that much weight, are we? Make sure of one. Yeah. What are you throwing, though, Kath? Just back line. Push it, just push it back to here. Think a little less ice, no, you think? What? This, this is exact what we took last time. S I'm thinking over, we need a little pinch over here. Less. Or your two. No? What weight are you throwing? Back line. Okay. I'd be worried about it crashing. No? This is a really tough shot for two here. We gotta make sure we get one. Yeah, oh. it's, it's a tricky little shot because of the weight, Luke. She's I'm really afraid of tightening the broom because every time you move in that four foot band, it really dramatically curls more and more. And how much more difficult is it because you've both said the house isn't so lively? Mm, that makes it more difficult as well. It'd be harder to push the Yellowstone, but it'll save the shooter because it won't roll as far. Less weight! Yep! Looking to get yeah! a couple here. Whoa. Maybe a little light out of yes! her hand. Bulver, horn. Yes! Hard! Quick. Big brush now. Hard, Catch hard, the corner hard, and push it back. Hard, Get hard, themselves hard, at hard, least hard, one. That's hard, what they hard, want. Hard, 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 hard. Can you squeeze hard, it out hard. for two, Team Canada? And back, no, they'll jam it, but they'll get their one. We've played five. Well, Nova yeah, Scotia with a 2-1 two. lead. The big question, who would be hot? The hot shots, Ford hot shots, the winner taking home a 1999 Mercury Mystique. Second place, two tickets anywhere in Canadian Airlines world or a satellite dish courtesy of Star Choice. All the players eligible, throwing six shots, receiving up to five points a shot for a maximum of 30 total points. It came down to a final between Saskatchewan and Alberta. Saskatchewan skip Cindy Street against Marcy Balderson, the Alberta third. Balderson, in her second appearance at the Scott, made the hole and drew up to the four foot for five points, and she had the lead. Now it was up to Cindy Street, the rookie skip here in Charlottetown, who needed to make her shot to take the lead. The raise back to the button for five points, hits it on an angle. She wouldn't do it. It would be Marcy Balderston who takes home the 1999 Ford Mystique. Well, on behalf of uh, Ford of Canada and its dealers, it gives me great pleasure to present the keys to Marcy Balderston. Cindy Street finished second. Excellent. Debbie Jones Walker third. Here in the 1999 Ford Hot Shots competition in yeah, Charlottetown. Marcy Balderston. She's hot. He saw just briefly Pete Corkum, the coach for the Nova Scotia side. It's Daryl Horn who coaches Team Canada, who find themselves trailing two to one. Milk, juice. Water. We've got a wonderful week here, some great curling. For the most often and asked question, what's my line? Get rid of it. Is there any separation? Yeah, time. Line. 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 We're second shot. I yeah. know, but it's not safe.
thanks to all the teams at this year, Scott, for their cooperation. Colleen Jones finds herself in the lead, 2-1 through 5. Linda, right? Well, she won eight games in a row, uh, Linda, through the round robin. That team is for real. It looks to me like Kathy Borst and the entire team having a little trouble hitting the broom. I think so, too, and I think the plan for Colleen Jones has been terrific. Now, remember, the advantage of last rock in the first end came because Nova Scotia had the better record in round-robin play. I think that's been really important. They had the chance a bit to control the start of the game, settle things down, and since then, the Nova Scotia team have been terrific. And if we look at the thirds, I think I mentioned it was going to be a key matchup. I think that's really been a story so far with Kim Kelly playing so well. Look at 90% she's shooting so far through five ends compared to Heather Godperson, 75%. And if that continues, that's a great sign for Nova Scotia in the next five ends. And you, you know, she had, uh, look at the skips here too. Uh, coming up, uh, Colleen uh, playing fantastic at 80%. And Kathy Borst at 78. Uh, Kathy had a chance for two in that, uh, in that last end. Uh, Linda, but that was a very difficult two. It was. You just had to, and the re, what made it so difficult was you had to be a little cautious with the ice, you know, uh, and you heard her say very clearly, got to make sure I get my uh, my one point. Here it is here. She throws That's it very, right. very well, gets it yeah. uh, out with, yeah. with the right weight, yeah. but uh, the jumper, the uh, sweepers get on it, the rushers get on it quickly, yeah. and you can hear Heather just giving the encouragement from the other end. But this was a shot that you'd love to have made for two, but it was more difficult than it really looked. Yeah, I think when we saw the fifth in huddle, the coaches are going to be talking to the two teams. I think it's really important for Team Canada earlier in the end to get things going because Kathy Borst is struggling a little bit. Vic? The trophies that will go to the winners of the Scott Tournament of Hearts here in Charlottetown. Welcome back to the Civic Centre, the first stone of the Sixth end is on its way. Nova Scotia has the hammer. This is the Team Canada lead, Kate Horn. No, don't. That's good. It's good. Great shot. Linda, as we take a look at the numbers after five. Well, the steal was really important, I think, because it was a sign that Kathy Boris really was not coming out with the kind of throw that we've seen from her during round robin play. She missed the shot against two. The numbers look fairly balanced, but remember I referred to thirds numbers during the fifth end break, and to me that is a huge story. Kim Kelly playing so well. She's so relaxed out there, and I, as I mentioned, I think it's because of the great way Colleen started the game and got the team all relaxed and ready to go. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I think that uh, Colleen, uh, we've talked about this during the week for the viewers that may have been with us uh, throughout the, the weeks with some of our telecasts. There were lots of them. There <laughs> were. And um, uh, Colleen just has a different... Uh, air about her she just seems so and you made a good point well, that I didn't you know when you talked to her she said that she had you know consciously yeah, purposely you slowed herself up and I think that she's handled this the team very very well and, and as a result of that then they just they're so confident themselves now she's just got them all you know that she's made them I guess the best way of saying it Vic is she's made them into believers they believe and this game is in the head ladies and gentlemen once you can throw, once you know how to hit the broom and you know all the yeah. little things about the game, it, it moves from the hands to the head. No inside roll, so they'll roll it away. Good, Nance. And hang it on the edge of the 12. <laughs> Considering the way she plays, is Brenda happy at 80%? Well, I think the main thing is they don't seem to be releasing the stone the same way we've seen them. They've been jumping the sweeping because people are a little bit inside of the broom. And that's not a great confidence builder to be seeing that on your stones. 80% is not a bad number, but it's not really the kind of throws we've seen from this team before. Back four. We can do something with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No. 
They're trying the split on the rock that's just outside of the house center line area. Get off that line. Is very rare for that lady, Mary Ann Way. I'll say. Yeah, I might see where they haven't seen many of those all week, I'll tell you. Yeah, but that was way out here. She comes in a little tighter. Yeah. Yeah. 75 to 80. Brenda Boomer. But that, in a way, is a consistency of the ice all week, is it not? When you get outside that floor, up the weight, it really runs straight, hangs there. That's right. It was just a little bit heavy, and I'm not sure if she was a little outside, oh, and it no. caught that track. Okay, Bryn. Colleen's having okay. a drink of water. Colleen, just well, looking for tea like for it. It's here, it's up there. You know what I mean? She, yeah, you sense it, it is a struggle for yeah. <laughs> the defending champions, Team Canada, right now. How's the weight? Uh, Mary Ann Way in her second yeah, appearance at a national championship. Pretty good, though. Looking okay, actually. You got room. We can wait for line. Oh, we got no line here. Lots yeah, we of got weights. lots. Must have had an extension there. You must have. Yeah. Oh, no line. Get no over line. there. Can we go come behind? That's all right. I don't mind the camera. We are behind, so but I, we're deep enough, I think, already. Whoa. No, that's fine. That's no, fine. we're okay. Yeah, I'll yeah. take that. <laughs> Good way. Just a reminder, it's the final of the Anderson Consulting Match Play Championship coming up immediately following our coverage. A half a million dollars going to the winner. Good. Are you use it, like is it a full million? Or is I it think it's a million for the winner Whoa, and half for the uh, second place. Second place. Well, then it's. Whoa! Up T! Ball! 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 Just everything going wrong for Team Canada. Kim Kelly. Yeah, whoa, 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 just whoa, 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 no. Close, I don't want to stay here. No, we're okay, we won't go that far. Curl a little whoa. bit, honey. That's good, <coughs> better than okay. staying. I don't understand that. I would have loved to have hung it on the 12 foot over there. I guess she meant better than staying in the oh, four foot area. Yeah, 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 obviously, yeah. Would have been nice to have that second mm. one in and put the extra pressure on Heather Godberson. It is better for sure than just sitting there and leaving the double or something. Nice so close. Want, definitely can. one of the roles. So whoa, she's absolutely whoa, right about whoa. that. No, tell her. We, we got no here. line, Katie. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, up. Whoa. It's close. Where are we? No, we're, to, we're just to it. Not yep. quite. Not Can quite down. Yep. Not yeah. Quite. Where are we? Oh, Trying to drag it right up if they can. Horn, Bowler, put it right on the face. Up, and they'll come top eight. Just, uh, you know, you look for things, I guess, maybe picking options. at things, a little indecision there. That I don't you could mind read. this shot. No, I, I think, think maybe in good. the voices, I yeah. hear a little bit the of a different tension than I've heard in the past. Split. That's about yeah, all. I like that shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Which, I think I like that one better. Which do you like? Uh, either or. Okay. Like them both. I like the split, because it opens up the center, too. Okay, split. How does the straight back, though? <laughs> but then you're leaving them an easy double there, even if you make a beautiful shot. Colleen, do you think it'll come that much with T? Well, I was giving here. I've narrowed it to there. Okay, good, okay. good. Okay, just T it, guys. Rather than playing the front one on to the red stone, they're going to try and split it in. Whoa! Whoa! Should be good. Whoa. Whoa! No! No, 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 no. Oh, no. Tons away. No, no, no. 
Not a yeah, brush we're, yet we're from tons. Bella Hunt or Way. No, never. She was outside of the target line when she released. She was looking for the split. Okay, Kim. Great just wave. doesn't come. Yeah, it was a good wave. Yeah. I didn't watch. Yeah. You can line it up right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we don't want to fool with this. No, I like I the way it is right now. Yeah. Okay. Just we threw one here before it hung out, remember? Yeah. Well she just threw what she threw and it didn't move. Yeah. Just control. Easy hit. Yours will move though, Kat. Yeah, easy. Colleen Jones. Kim Kelly. To control maybe down a bit. Leading 2-1 as we play here in the sixth. Forward up, control down. Right on. Should go here a bit. Skip stones are the first from Kathy Borst. Less. Wait, skate easy. Yeah, it's easy. Up. No, whoa. Easy hit. Clean. Up. Whoa. Whoa. Clean. Up. Come on. Yep. Whoa. Yep. 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 Whoa. Yep. 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 Shot. Exactly what she called. Nice wait. Nova Scotia yep. line one, nice but wait. second, third belong to Team Canada. She seemed to throw that very well, straight up to the broom. Nice weight, which gives it to the sweepers and lets them get the little roll. Yeah, but you know what? She's got the yellow onto the red, onto the red, and it's going. So I'm not crazy about garden on that side. It has been a big advantage to lead after five ends, but it's a slim lead for Nova Scotia, just the single point. Wouldn't it just point. be an easier bump, 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 bump? It would be easier, yeah. I'm just thinking that if she does it. What do you guys like? I think all we've got is the guard. The only thing about guarding Isn't is Isn't this a gimme? Yeah, then we might have a guard our own uh, problem there. What about right there? Well, yeah. That's what she was talking about. That is what about right gimme, here? Like, what about going right here? Then if she plays bump, bump, you know, uh, we've got bump, bump ammunition like if we go right here and she plays that and even if she just bumps this back here and that call. to there we okay. might we might get something yeah. with that yeah. okay. Okay. Time out. <coughs> one of two they can use I mean, but see she's got the bump bump on this side though. oh really it does look really see yeah. and if we go here yeah. it, it makes it just a little more tricky yeah. you know because her angles change. Oh, the well the is, angle's I mean, still is, there perfect shot but if you don't yeah, make I know. it then they've got the yeah. double obviously so um, what are our other options? Oh. Did we did we signal the Well, the guard and give her the raise back to sit two. It is a gimme. It is. I think this is all we've got, Colleen. I don't mind that either. And even if you're here, she makes well, the she's raise Well, she got the back. double. Then she got a double. Talked about the guard. Let's see what Peter leaving likes. Her, and leaving her this. And Peter is coach Peter Corkum, who has made his way down to the ice level now. Oh, I yeah, see. yeah, that's an idea. Oh, but we've got to yeah, cover one of that. this one because it's a gimme raise back. Here. Yeah, you got to cover half. Of both. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have to be too much longer. Right yeah, there. that looks that's good. That's good because it. That's to, what they're saying is just overlap the. Uh, the front one. Overlapping it. I mean, you got to cover half of that yellow rock. It's not an easy overlap, as Colleen's saying, because if you overlap it too to much, you'll okay. leave the red ones exposed. Okay, guys. Let's go. Cover, Let's go. Let's go. Half of the yellow. Let's go. Yeah. But if you don't cover enough of the yellow, the tap tap is still there for Kathy Borst. I think the red, the shot to tap the red back is easier, or it's much harder than the straight back. Like, I think, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is the most difficult shot she's faced so far? I, I think so, Vic. You know, our, our good friend Alfie Phillips Jr. always says there's uh, 
Only a microsecond okay, so between guard, fear red, and greed. Yellow. So I think we should be sure that we're guarding the yellow because the straight back is a much easier shot than the back line tap on a piece of the red. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think the yellow is the easier shot, so make sure we've got that one. He has one in there. Nova Scotia with the hammer. One my throne. Five? Sure, for a guard. Yep. It looks like it's been quicker this end. It, it's not as slow as it was okay. the last end. Whoa, guys, whoa, 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 whoa. Got a bender. Where are we? Guard. Yeah, it's clean. Yeah, tell me. Hurry. And now. Kim. Okay. Whoa! 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 Wanted to cover a piece of it. Nice shot. Did she get enough though? Hmm, dangerous, eh? Linda, as you mentioned, a lot at stake. Well, not just the trip to the Ford Worlds, but a berth into the JVCTSN Women's Skins game. The end of the year, the Scott Tournament of Hearts next year in Prince George as Team Canada. And of course, the trials for the 2002 Olympic Winter Games. The problem is, we could, if we could stay out here, we could clip our own two and leave them sitting in there. It's me, it's really just, just, what just clip it. That's what I'm saying, playing tight to the guard, right? What do you girls like? To me, it's a question of how much weight. I'm, I'm suggesting that we play it really tight, right? Play that with Even boards. if we clip. Yeah? I like, yeah, I like boards. Yeah, you gotta be tight to that yeah, one, for sure. Yeah, fine. You clip that, that's fine. Okay, watch your feet, okay? okay this is uh, black stuff. This can be a straight spot here. You like board? This I'm thinking Brandon's pinch through. more, Kath. Here's gonna go a little bit. We're gonna play it very tight to this guard here. What do you play? Board. I, board okay. weight. Like, yep. th there's the guard up there. Yep. On to that one. On to that one. Make and sure on to the yellow. Close yeah. to that one. Board only. Are they as lined up as you could get them? I mean, this is this a... Well, the, the, the nice thing about these rocks, okay. uh, Vic, is the, the, is the, the little amount of separation, you know, that... Okay. Like Herod. You, you got to get uh, you got to get to the almost the, a good portion of that front uh, yellow rock to drive it onto the red, which will push it back onto the other red and remove the uh, yellow. He's got four rocks involved here. One of the problems for Kathy, always in brooming, you heard Heather say, is Kathy's rocks curl a little more, especially more than Colleen's. Well, so it's a little so bit of a guess yeah. on the ice. They like to wait. Yeah. But they said they'd play it tight. Now it's up to that front end. Hurry. Horn, Bomer. Well, 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 okay, that's good. And they won't get it okay. by. That's fine. And now it's a draw for two for Nova Scotia here in six. Well, the elusive draw weight has been tough all, all week long. And these are the kind of shots that the teams weren't as consistent on. Uh, in, that we, as compared to years in the past, where the skip the top skips like these two will put them in the forefoot to, almost all the time. It's been a little more difficult, but this is without a question of a doubt a huge draw for Nova Scotia. This is that extra point. This is that uh, uh, the, you know the deuce that makes it four to one, gives you the three uh, point lead. This is a huge shot. An open draw to the yeah. forefoot. She must be full in the forefoot. The stone will belong to the front end, Nancy and Mary Ann. And, and we know that they fudge a bit in the uh, in the slide path area, but sometimes when you have to go out like this, they'll ride a little quicker. They'll slide, Linda. She needs full, full forefoot. Four, lots of room. Let it bend. Kim Kelly Mine's calling good. the line. Let it bend. Got lots of room. Got lots here. We Gotta do think about still. 13 and a half seconds. Whoa, whoa, Remember whoa, going whoa, the other whoa. way, we were fooled, but this is in a part okay. of the ice where it should okay. slide a little better, so the good. weight Make looks sure good. Four, full four, four, four is what they need four, for two. No, no, no. Easy! Whoa. Whoa. Boy, what a draw! Great shot! Nova Scotia!
Scotia, Colleen Jones put it there herself. Nova Scotia up by three. It's four to one. Team Canada will have the hammer when we come back to Charlottetown. It was key with a capital K, Colleen Jones. It was a great draw. Remember in the second end, Colleen Jones faced two Team Canada stones. She made the draw. Kathy Borst in a similar situation missed that kind of draw tap back. So here again, Colleen Jones has a chance to keep the pressure on by getting a second point in this end. And it's a draw to the forefoot and it's perfect. And now it's a big lead for Nova Scotia. A reminder, stay with us after the game for the TSN Turning Point, brought to you by Super 8 Motels. Clean. Clean is my business. So when I'm on the road, Super 8's my motel. Clean carpets, clean seats, clean. Clean inside and out. Life's great at Super 8. Welcome back to the Civic Center. It's the final of the 99 Scott here on TSN. Vic Rotor along with Linda Moore, Ray Turnbull. As we go to the seventh, four to one, Nova Scotia, Colleen Jones leading Team Canada, Kathy Borst with the hammer. Well, you're absolutely right, to, Linda. It was a key draw, wasn't it? It was a big shot, and we'll. We See now if Team Canada with, can generate some offense and get themselves back in this game because a three-point lead playing seven. You mentioned earlier too that uh, the stats of the teams that were leading after five were so obvious that the, they're tough to catch them. Gotta go all the way, all the way hard, all the way hard. Let's go all the way, every inch, every inch, every. Inch. Shot. Yeah. Nice shot, Katie. 84. Thanks. 84? What do you yeah. think? Nice. What do you think? How to protect freeze against this? Through. I don't like the freeze here. All right, go through. Let's go through. Let's make it as least complicated as possible. Yeah. yeah, I'll take it. I'm going to throw it through. The team that wins here becomes Team Canada. And since 1986, when the concept started, the Team Canada team returning to the championship has won the final twice, but they've done so well, only four times have they missed the playoffs. And I believe it's a huge advantage to get back to the championship. You have to prepare differently. You have to do different things rather than your provincial championship. But uh, losing the final three times and making the sem semifinal four times shows what a huge advantage it is. Every inch. Harder. Good brush, guys. Want to try it this way? Yeah. Now the peels. I want to cut more than that, I was going to say. I need a little more. Marianne Way. Hard, 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 real hard. Hurry. Hard all the way, hard, yeah. Off of one, get them both, but it left the corner and look at the roll to cover her own. Now in some respects, I guess you say, hey, but Nova Scotia doesn't particularly want that there to begin with, right? Well, they don't really, but it, if you're going to have it out in front, it's not a bad spot to be. No, that's right. It got rid of the corners that Team yeah. Canada was so desperately trying to develop. And a guard isn't great, but if you're going to have one, it's much better to be solidly in front of your rock, which we'll is right in the line. forefoot. 69. She would like to yeah. hit, the, hit the second one a little, a little bit thinner, and then it would have spun the rock right into the that's rings. Now one. all the rocks are in the rings there, and, that, uh, and they're her down. rocks, so that would have been a great Four situation. But it's a wonderful shot. Go around take it back. All of it. Yep. Go around it. Brenda Bomer. Back eight. Yes. And we'll bounce Good off. Shot. Can we just play that 
tight with background. How much you have? Our viewers can note how how dead the kind of the dead and flat the, the rings are. The house what do you is want to throw? because Control? when you make contact, they don't they don't snap off. Control them regular. They die quickly, and that's been the case what? all week. What? Board. Board. You've only got three quarters of it, Colleen. I know, but taking the front. We'll play exactly. it tight. Taking the yeah. front's not disastrous. Okay, board. Board. Okay. <laughs> she was yelling yeah, before girl. it was out of her hand. Hurry! Whoa! Kelly Delahunt. Whoa! 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 Oh, well, by now right. they'll back off. Right out the back. Just tap it back. Tap it back. I don't mind tapping this back. Yeah, I like that. Same weight, brother. Same weight, yeah. Same weight. Is this the same ice? Uh, less? Same ice? This is less. Okay, let's do it. Back eight! Got more weight. No. Just no, tapping! No, it's way out. Just Fine. tapping. Coming down. Back four, back eight. Back eight. Taps it right. back four, right. and you can hear Kathy Poor say she got it out. Hit and roll. You know, Team Canada's just not quite as solid on the release, and it makes a huge difference, that little bit of inside out or outside in motion right. with the hand. Oh. No. In the round robin game, it was the uh, seventh end that uh, Nova Scotia got a big four points. Too much weight, guys. Uh, now, in that particular situation, they did have last rock, and they don't have it here, but... Seven hasn't been lucky for uh, has been lucky for uh, Nova Scotia. You can come around with the other turn. Oh, intern curl's good too. Do you like tapping? It really that didn't come very side? much though no. either. And I didn't think it's it would a on nice that line. Pocket right here. Yeah. yeah. Um, can you get it into that pocket? Well, you can definitely get a top four and a corner covered, and then it's very tough to get it by those yellow stones. Heather Godverson will try with her first. They need a big shot here from Heather to try and get this end turned Zaza, around a little back bit. Four. No. Right no. Out. Back four. Still back four. Whoa. No. Come on. No, Sit. don't touch it. Please. Back in. Back four. Oh, coming yeah, down. Come still down. there. Don't still touch there. It. Still back. Come on. No. Listen to Heather. Didn't have to break much more than to be, to be perfect. It just didn't finish like we expected to do. But then again, it was the thrown front, there without okay. the sweeping. Okay, just tack. Yeah. So your thought is, if you just pull a little off, give it to the brushers, it might hook a little more for you. Exactly. They can take it at the end as it starts to break. Kim Kelly. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. whoa. A yeah. couple of stones yeah, to squeeze yeah. it by. And all over the front one. Jeez. That's good, Kim. Good. <coughs> A reminder, Canada Games prime time tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern. The second week of the Canada Winter Games from Cornerbrook, Newfoundland has started. Freezing on the top one, the one sitting uh, at the top, the yellow stone sitting at the Whoa. top of the forefoot. Whoa. Whoa. Not the same kind. Same We're gonna bump it a little bit. Whoa. Whoa. Got bumper. Back no. four at least. Whoa. Back, four back, back four plus. Come over. No. No. Come over. No, no, no. It's too much weight. No. Get a little wick. No. 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 no, no, no. Get away. Come on. Get him down. Get over. Get over. Okay. Good shot. She really wanted to angle freeze it on the front of that yellow one. I don't think they'll both go, will they? They might, you know, if you hit. 
Well, so long as for that guy. Okay, so long as we get it on this side and get rid of one. Yeah. I don't see them both going no, him at all. No, probably not past that guy. You never know, though. It might, you know, roll off the top of it. No, I don't think so. Okay. But anyhow, the key is hit it high on this side. Yeah, exactly. Don't let it over curl into no, a straight I jam won't. back. Wouldn't do that. Kim saying, you can trust me, Skipper. I won't let that happen. This is a little touchier shot than you think, I can tell you right now, because that yellow rock is so close to it. I'm sure there's no double there. Okay. Just jamming the second yeah. one out of there, eh? Yeah. On the high side, right over. <sighs> And she doesn't, the key here is to get rid of them if you can. Well, get rid of your yellows so you don't mind. The red's all important here, huh? Get rid of at least no! one red. No, never touch it. Whoa! Curl. Never touch it. Curl. And they haven't. It's on its own. <laughs> First mistake? Yeah, she got she got it out. Uh, and with that kind of weight, Linda, there's no sure, chance of it coming. They everything here. Now, the one thing is that for Team Canada, it's a little bit of a dilemma when you look Almost. at where the shooter ends up. She spills the one yellow. One right look at where the yellow yeah, one at the I top know, of the forefoot ugly, stops. Yeah. It's a run back possibility for Kathy one, uh, Horst to protect against. She can, still get, she can still hit it. She's looking at trying to line okay. up an angle what freeze on that one yeah, to take away the run back that, that Linda one, talked about. Here. Okay. Gotta save herself a shot though. Just wanna sit on this side, right? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. You should get yeah. a little okay. bit. So that this here would go that way if it was hit. What kind of way are we looking at? What's the weight down this side? Sorry? Is the weight on this side? Well, we're to the so that if that front one was hit, yeah, we, so we'll it would go this way. Slide pass too. So the same on both sides, do you think? Yeah, uh, I'd say so close. This side's a little faster than that. Almost dead to four. The main difficulty okay, for Kathy Borst yellow. is she got misses early and remember the nice shot by Marianne Wade to double off the red stones. And so the rocks are very grouped. When you have the hammer and you're trying to get back in the game, you hope to be playing rocks that aren't so Line's clustered good. in the forefoot. It's no, very right difficult wait. for Kathy to protect against Whoa, the situation. We're touching and bumping. We're touching and bumping. Whoa. We got back four. Whoa. Still back. We got back four still. Yep. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Well, this is a well, plan B I Heather's going game. after. Yep, 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 yep. Spilling over, spilling over. Great shot. Not too bad at all. They're lying just two. Listen, that's quick that's down that side. Yeah, I got you a 12 reel. Just off nose, with actually. Firm. Well, with very, very, well, very okay. big weight, you could, you could make the triple here. Hmm. Wouldn't that happen on their feet here at the Civic Center? So this uh, rock here going on to this stone here and it going right that beach. way this one here coming across off of this one maybe catching the back of that one i think it'll jam there myself but... but you can get two of them out of there linda that was a mistake by kathy Borist, of course and didn't work out that well as far as the angles go Considering the position she's in. Huge shot here. The most she wants to give up here is the deuce, huh? That's right. Colleen Jones and her last stone. Team Canada with yeah, the hammer yeah. in seven. Oh! Right out of her hand now. Has thrown it from the hip. <laughs> Way, Delahunt, can they hold it for her? Hard. Hard. Watch her roll. Move it far enough. She a great roll. Oh, is she ever? She lies one, maybe two. The 
Curl surprised her with that weight, I would think, you know? I think she might have been a little bit inside, but uh, she's got a pretty good break out of that situation. Yeah, she did. Well, you mentioned just a moment, here it is again. And she over curled on her, and watch where it rolls to. And then the two rocks right behind sit uh, right behind it, so. Nothing you can do. And when Kathy's first rock set up those angles the way they did, it, Give me a little more you than knew it was going to be trouble. It's turned around yeah, here in the yeah, seventh. Yeah. Well, Team Canada wins. looking yeah, like they might the score wins. two, possibly that's three now, win. facing two at their final big. stone. Oh, big way! No. No. The draw weight's no. about 13 and a half. No, no, no. Boy, a little no. panic. You can hear it. Okay. That's too much weight. <laughs> One yellow. They jumped yeah. it a bit at first on uh, Heather's call. Let's think about this. Nova Scotia huh? we can think about one. the fact oh, they no, lead it now. 5-1 over Team Canada. TSN is pleased to present the Scott Tournament of Hearts final. Brought to you by Scott Paper. The key shot of that seventh. Well, the... Yes, yes. This is a, a great result uh, from this uh, particular shot. It uh, curls more than she uh, desires, but watch what happens when they make contact here. Watch the Yellowstone and then where the two red ones go, and you just you just can't get at the, the shot rock without jamming it. So it's a long way back for the defending champions, down 5-1 as we move to the eighth here at the Civic Center in Charlottetown. Nancy Delahunt. Carlene will throw this through the rings. <coughs> defend her position. Gotta love these shots. Team Canada have to make some of these aggressive shots earlier. I did say last end that one of the main difficulties for Kathy Boris was that the corners got off and the shots weren't made early in the end. So they were playing in the forefoot, and when that happens, it's difficult to get the separation and a chance to have the open draw with the last stone. Kate Horn. I'd like to go 91. Easy, easy, easy. Well, the Kathy's easy. last shot uh, easy. was interesting. Uh, you pointed out, Linda, that uh, you, yep, you yep, felt yep, that uh, yep, she yep, threw yep, too much yep, weight, hard. and that the front end did say that she's got lots of weight. But I wonder why they didn't did jump on it like that. The Heather. Heather called out to brush, but uh, sometimes when you jump those stones. <laughs> That's a good point, Ray. And you know what? I think part of it is is that there's so much tension at that point, and they wanted to make the rock so badly that Heather called and didn't really hear the comment back from the sweepers. Remember that you, you tell us often how many times you must communicate on this particular sheet of ice because of all the different spots and what it does. Well, I don't think they heard that communication to know the weight difference. But Jumping on a stone like that is something you have to be, be very careful about, you know. We know that, and you hear it all, the, the players talk about it all the time. It's interesting to see the numbers for Cade Horn uh, really with an advantage, but you don't really have the feel that the rocks are exactly where Kathy wants them, even uh, starting with Kate's rocks. Kathy uh, Della Hunt throws her second one through. Linda Ray, on your behalf and on behalf of uh, our entire crew, I wanted to say thank you to the the chair of the, the media volunteers, Joan Ald. Uh, she and uh, her people have kept us uh, well fed. And uh, wonderful clam uh, seafood chowder that was made yesterday. It was fantastic. At the same time, Joan wanted to say hello to some uh, former islanders who are now living in Alberta. Hello to Clara. Barbie May and yep. Lynn from Joan and all the people here 
at the Civic Center. So thank you, ladies, gentlemen. We've enjoyed our stay. And obviously the other people that we want to really thank are the Scott people. They just do a marvelous, marvelous job here. And of course, all the curlers in this country and uh, all the fans of curling can thank them by you know, purchasing their products because Scott really have put so much into this game. And women's curling has just made no, leaps and bounds. It's, it's a tremendous it's event no, no. capped uh, by the Canadian Championship and sponsored Even? by the Scott Paper people. And another thing you can do if you're a curler, yeah, Scott Paper on, is also supporting grassroots curling. You can uh, take the UPC yeah, symbols right, from right, Scott right. Paper products. There'll be a box at your curling club. You can deposit it in the box. And Scott Paper is paying 10 cents for every UPC symbol to the curling clubs in Canada to support their programs. Corner guards and the peel. Yeah, Hart. Yeah, Hart. Hurry, quick. Hard all the way. Hurry, hard all the way. Every bit, Kim, every bit. Right over. All right, here's your corners. <coughs> Well, numbers we haven't come to expect from certainly just regular? Brenda Bomer, but the way she has played, oh, Marianne Way, those are disappointing numbers do for regular her. Plot. There was a couple okay. of open misses that brought those numbers down, but remember, we're in a final, and timing now is going to be everything. And last end, Marianne Way made a wonderful yeah. double yeah. takeout on the yeah. corner guards. Either or, either one was what she was playing, get the front or the back. Oh, now a chance for Heather Robertson to get in behind this corner guard again, lie to, get this buried. And then when Colleen hits the wide open one, you'll go in again. That's how you set up the possible three. But the nice thing for our Team Canada is actually that stone in the house is deep, yeah, so there would even be a freeze possibility if Colleen's Rock stuck there, so there are yep, yep. chances here for Team Canada. Yeah! Wait there! Wait for yes! yep. Big scrub now yeah, again by yeah, Horn, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Bomber yeah. trying to hook yeah, it around this corner, yeah, use it for all it's room. worth. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, that's two. Nice drop. I'll say that T -line is some. Eight. That is some. Kim Kelly's numbers have come down a bit, bit since the uh, fifth end break. We want to stay. And now is the time uh, that Heather Godberson really needs to get some care. rocks in there. Okay. Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter because if you roll out, she's going there. Yeah, I'd rather stay. Actually. Yeah. Okay. If you stay, they'll they can freeze to you. Roll. Just clean. Clean. Just clean. Yeah. No. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Come on out, honey. A little bit more, a little bit more. Good, good, good. <coughs> freeze. I, I would freeze there. with this last one of, uh, of Heather's. Save the come around. Uh, I like freeze back there. Kind of like yeah. freeze. Like this? Yeah, I like this. I like that. And wait till Kathy's shot to go in. Is the heavier going here, guys? Or no, uh, Brenda had a 60 here. Okay. 
Heather Godverson as Team Canada oh, tries to claw and scratch their way back in here in eight, trailing by four. Be two, go, no. We gotta right go. Turn. No, you don't. You don't have freeze yet. We gotta go. Right turn. Yes, then I said. Hurry. Hard. Hard. Hurry. Hard. Leave it too long. Hurry. Hurry. Hard. Drag Hard. it up a little more. Brenda Bomer staying with it. Wonderful job. Oh. Absolutely glues it on the corner. It's a textbook end of how to generate points, corner guards, uh, shots, in behind, the girl, the then the freeze. She blasts both other ones around here. Do you think Justin knows, you guys? What? The sweepers were absolutely right about well, the weight. Frozen. They kept calling out, needs it a bit for the freeze, and they took it right up to the rock. No! no and look at how late. Bomer stayed with it. Look at the bristles on the brush. There's the pressure she exerts on the brush head. And that's why she drags it so far. She's got great body positioning when she's brushing, Linda. She's up so high on the handle, and the body see, weight is right over top of the to brush. I think we have to keep them over on this side as opposed to and around the And the other thing corner. is, they're certainly knows, staggered, Polly. Yeah. Yes. I think you're right, because too right risky here. in case it doesn't go. Right yeah. Nose. Yeah. I mean, big peel will get those going. <laughs> They're not playing the pick. They're going to try and nose it and keep their stone in front of the red rock. We got to go. We got to go we here. We squirt it right out in the nose. Peel. No, but I'll tell you. You can squirt it out. You're rolling and so is your back one. And she's going around the corner. And how am I going to get him? We got to keep her over there. Nose hit. Right? Her best chance. If she does butt roll out. What do you want to do? Go around. Sounds good. <laughs> okay. I'm with you. Sensing a little momentum swing here. Well, it's. You know, I mean, they played it. They played a perfect end. I mean, uh, the one nose hit uh, by the front end of Nova Scotia. I heard Heather say, "Come on, Skipper, we can get them this end." And Skipper is Kathy Borston. Regular. Whoa. It is the right time to bring those numbers up. Yeah. Just no. regular. Colleen Jones has played Whoa. very well. Got a bit of a break Whoa. last end, but otherwise has played Whoa. great. Change their mind partway down and just oh, squeeze wow. it out. Great shot. Good sweeping. I guess it will go. What? I guess it will go. Good way if you just scared it out of there. When I say well, they make this decision uh, late, as you suggest, Linda, and they uh, were the staying out the and they just now. squeezed it out definitely would go if you hit on that side with weight. There's no question about that. But she was actually playing to hit it on the nose, trying to exchange the position, but plan B worked out well. Sports desk gets word to us, Linda Ray, that the Calgary Flames have made the long-awaited trade. Theo Fleury is off to Colorado, and Sports Desk will have an update for you yep. when they join us at yeah, the bottom yeah, of this the Eighth and yes. five one. Yes. Whoa! Back Whoa. eight! Whoa! Back eight! Whoa! 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 Come over! Whoa! Come over! Are we gonna bounce? Just do it. No! Just do it. No! Go oh, now! No! No! Let's wait! Let's wait! Please! Good shot! Good shot! Very nice shot by Kathy. Well, I guess then. I it's fair to say that, well, Debbie Jones Walker was here uh, curling, curling very well. As a matter of fact, her boss, Don Baisley, was doing all the work. Have to? Don is the agent for Do you like the jam, but that's fine. Are you worried about the jam on the back one there? No. Do you like the freeze, I'm asking? Well, I, Actually, you don't want to hit it out? That's a good no, question. No, okay. No, I yeah. thought you said freeze. <coughs> You've got half. In the back. You can see half of it. They're okay, talking good. about a freeze, Four. and then you heard Four. the comments okay. from the other end. Yeah. But you can see half of it, so she's going to try and just hit the uh, high one and push this one out. Linda, how finicky is this piece of ice right here? 
We did see Heather Godberson play this spot. I believe it was in the no, fourth no, end. I thought okay. Played that's half what you weight guys and yelled. it just came over uh, nicely. No, we were just saying you could see Very yeah. consistent yeah. spot. They say that you can see half of it. I'm, we're right be, I'm particularly right behind this sheet, and that is a little half. That's not the piece of the but pie I mean, that I would want. I would want the full so. piece. Front end are talking to Colleen. I mentioned that Nancy Delahunt, the lead, often provides some input. You know what, Colleen? What? If we hit half, this jam might be That's here. That's what I was worried about, too, yeah. All right. We'll freeze. Kind of have to, Crazy? I yep. think. I don't think it's half, Linda, do you? Yeah, it looks very small. Now, from the hack, they have an angle to the stones of as course, opposed yeah. to straight out, so that does make a difference. Actually, maybe There's not. the straight back, too, but I think we'd leave them. Maybe a yeah, third from the hack, them. which yep. is closer okay. to center, From the hack, you'd be able to see um, a third of it. Okay, right there, then. It's hard. It looks like it would right be a simple question. Okay. <clears throat> So, change of plan, play the freeze she throw on there? the face right here. 4.1. Okay. Yeah. This is quite the gamble, it seems to me, on her, uh, on her part to try the freeze here. You don't make it, you leave up the three. Uh, is there a percentage in one shot versus the other, do you think? Well, with the draw weight, you have a little more control. More. At least the sweepers are brought into the play a little more. You have a little more control where this stone Late. can stalk. And as long as it's yeah. somewhere in front of those red ones and is shot raw, Kathy Boris has to deal with it. There's what she's trying to do. Got lots of weight. Lots of weight. Line only. Della Hunt. Where are is we? On the left. Back. Way on the right. Bumping. On its own. They haven't put a brush to it yet. Could this be the break for Team Canada Actually, here in the eighth? Whoa, Cam, whoa! Bounce off the back and roll back four. <laughs> Quiet tap, a chance for three for Team Canada. I guess in retrospect, you should have maybe tried to tuck it around it a little bit at the last moment. Yeah. That's what Kim shouted yeah. out at the last second. But this is a huge shot for Kathy Borst. She's been a little bit off on her releases and a little bit off on the weight, but here's a chance to get right back in the game with one shot. It's control. Control. Just watching oh, the result. Think. Not the throw. It's the result that Clean. Clean. Firm. Clean. Firm. Yeah. Colleen yeah. Jones is interested yeah. in. Big brush now, trying to hold it up. Don't want to spill it. Don't want to crash. They won't crash. Right on the nose. Put three on the board. Team Canada. Has well played an end, as you've seen. Excellent end. Team Canada does. They trail by one. Nova Scotia Jones will have the hammer when we come back. It is truly bright red. The fields of PEI, potato country. And welcome back to Charlottetown, the Civic Center. Boy, doesn't that jump out at you. The three for Team Canada, Kathy Borst in the eighth. 5-4 Nova Scotia leading now as we go to nine. And the team from the Mayflower Curling Club in Halifax has the hammer. And now the all-important first stone from Team Canada lead, Kate Horn. Well, it was a wonderful end and a great freeze and tremendous come around by Heather Godberson set up that situation. She got her... Rock absolutely sunk behind the corner guard that uh, uh, Colleen uh, just couldn't get at. Uh, 
Kogi uh, squeezed a rock off the freeze. And then a great come around by Kathy. And uh, it's been interesting. It's been the eighth ends that have been magic for Team Canada, remember, in the Saskatchewan playoff game. They scored they five in the eighth end. No, and then in the semifinal, team. they equaled that. Take a look. Yep. Now, this is the control of this game belongs to Nova Scotia. This is still their right game back. to win. They, they've got control of it. They have the they're on, one up playing the ninth the end. They have last rock. So this is where you really have to gather yourself together. And this is quite frankly what the good teams can do and put that end right behind you. They got those three points with some magnificent shot making. You did very little wrong. You got one nose hit that hurt you maybe. But uh, they gave you the second uh, corner guard. But this game belongs at this point still to Nova Scotia. They've played tremendously. So you really have to regroup your your Mine's thoughts and, and concentrate and, and yep. just say to yourself it's hard to do I know they, they threw a great end at us that's all they all we can say we try to defend line. our situation and the brush will take it great shot back okay. four funny how it goes Linda I mean you they can't seem to, I mean, a little deep considering, but they can't seem to miss now. This is just turned around. Well, yeah, a little bit uh, of a momentum switch maybe, but it was a perfect eighth end. And uh, you have to wonder if it's a little bit late for it. And this end will, of course, tell the big story because if Nova Scotia can either get two or blank and hold the hammer for the 10th, they're going to be in great shape. <coughs> Well, you just had the feeling all along that Kathy Boris was not going to go down without a good fight. I mean, that's just her nature, and this is a very strong team. This, like this, this is your reigning better. champion. Okay. 70. The people in the province of PEI and here in Charlottetown have just been fabulous all week to everyone, and you really feel Tight. sorry for the rest of the world that doesn't Fine have... Yet. Tight. curling okay. like this that because uh, it it's so much fun to be here gotta the participation go from the fans Hurry, gotta go on it. We're gonna put it in. great shot making we're gonna put it in hurry hurry hurry, hurry. <laughs> okay that's good shot right heather come here i still think this you guys what do you think yeah, I think so, because of, of the jam. It was an interesting yeah, thought, field, you know. to say the least, and very and experienced on, when little, you think maybe. of former okay. champions Come. who were here. But there was also that aspect of new teams, uh, Cindy Street in particular from Saskatchewan, Kim Gallard, a former champion, Whoa. but skipping for the first time. No, straight back? No, well, I was yeah. trying, but... Oh, okay, you want to get a piece. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> Obviously, Colleen recognizing that's the stone that's going to hurt her is that front stone, so get it off of there. Well, we swept a little bit. Yep. Here were the final round robin standings as of Thursday night. Manitoba, by virtue of Nova, a win over Nova Scotia, got yeah. first. Saskatchewan, Canada, PEI. Rebecca Jean McPhee had a great run, as did Heather Strong from Newfoundland. Ontario, a disappointment for Kim Gillard in her first. And Quebec, after Hack. losing Hack. their first oh, five, Radio finished at Hack. three and eight. Jenny Bedhello from Montreal. Uh, whoa, I don't know what to do with it. Whoa, 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 we're, we're jamming here. Okay. <coughs> it's okay, Marianne. Not 
Like Wasn't quite, board weight. Would you like to hit and roll, guys? No, not yet. Well, hit and roll? Okay. And to go back to what you discussed earlier about the pressures of the moment. It's one thing to play with the lead, but now you look at the scoreboard, you're still leading, but you're just leading by one. Now, I did mention that I thought the front three from Nova Scotia might feel the pressure, and this may be the point, Vic, where they do feel it. And then roll, hitting this one, trying to roll over into this area here. It's Fulmer, Horn, yes, yes, yes. looking for the hit and the roll behind cover. Okay. And maybe considering the scrub, lucky to hold it, sit right there. Right out of her hand, it must have been tight, Linda. What, what about the freeze? No. Hit and roll? Is it hit and roll there? I think we got to. Okay. <clears throat> the other option is the straight back. No. It's pretty okay. long. Let's do it. Regular. Kim yeah. Kelly. Close. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Just regular. Whoa. Whoa. No, 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 no. Never touch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Roll what you can. Little bit, Miriam. Okay. Thanks, nice bro, Kim. Colleen playing that straighter that. turn, and this turn, if you do get the hand started at all towards the inside, will curl. That's what happened on Heather's last rock. Yeah! Oh, oh, One more time, right out of her hand. Listen to the oh, urging for both, oh, oh. and now called what off horn. Oh, dear. And the jam will kill their stone at the back. Well, you don't need to make any comment here. Even the most novice curler or fan. I throw that Picture ugly. tells the story. That okay. ugly. I cranked it. That prick. Just a second, guys. That's a night. Just yeah. a second. We peel here and we're we're blanking or scoring one. <coughs> you know, like the only risk of giving one is not. Hmm. Very tempting to come in. I know. I must say. I know. As long as I'm top four. Very okay. tempting to yeah. peel, too. That was the word that came from Nancy Delahunt, the lead, like was the peel. As long as I'm top four. Well, I, I don't like it. I think if you peel the moat, you're going to get one or blanket. Well, well, and if you come here. The problem getting one here is they get the double corners yeah. up. They're a good three team. You know, seventh day, look, we're looking good for a three. And here they were looking. Yeah. Last it's just that, I mean, if Kenny comes, comes in perfect and buries half and is, is biting the four, that's has got the intern all day. Actually, not just do they have the intern come around, but it's going to be hard to pick it. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's I, I think okay. it's safe with the peel. <coughs> so Della Hunt's logic wins out. I really have been impressed with her all week with I like the, it. the I thoughts like her logic. on the strategy. I'd be getting that off of there, I'll tell you that. I'm really not sure what to tell you there for draw, Kim, you know, because I'm getting funny times going this way. It doesn't move here. You just got a very big, big break when your opposition takes the rock off the button and is fully covered, so yep. you don't yes. want to give them another chance Better. to get one in there, Linda. Oh, oh, not too hard. Yep. No, no, it won't go anywhere. Fine, eh? Yeah. Kim Kelly girl, Kim. rips the guard. Yeah, Heather really is. Yep. I'm sure she's just eating her heart out inside, yep. boy. And she, and she did. She got it started big time the day. Went to, she, you could see right at the you know, one quarter of the way down the ice that she was on the nose. And then you could, by that time, and of course with the rest of the curl, you could just see at the last moment, uh, 
Kathy tried to call her off. A yep, complete miss was better. Yep. And they do. Playing for the blank right, now. And the, uh, Nova Scotia court. looking to control the hammer. Try to roll it over there in the eight foot inch. Carleen Jones would like her stone to be a little bit closer to the side of the house, making her last blank attempt hopefully a little bit easier. Jones whoa, at her first. Whoa, 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 no, no, whoa, 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 just cleaning. Hang on, Hunter. Hang on, Hunter. And it will. Nice stone, Colleen. So it'll make Team Canada and Borst come and get her. Remember, this is right through peel. I think this is good. It's straightened up a bit. It's through peel. It's almost that ice last when game. When was this? Last game. It's moving there. Are we nosing it? Yeah. What are you throwing? Control. Control or what? Okay. You threw in practice it went here, didn't you? Yeah, I was so soft. Oh, <laughs> I thought I made it in a little tight. I thought it threw pretty close. I thought Colleen Jones's comments well, were interesting go, so about, you okay. know, prior to ripping the guard, we don't want to give them a chance. They, they just saw the three scored good. against them. They knew before they nearly got three. And so three not out of the question for this, this Borst team and the way they play. Last rock coming home is just a I'm major no, point no, in this normal. game. Normal, normal up. Ah. No. No. Okay, Queen. No. They hope to sit right there. Sit. They won't. Okay. And so it'll be a throw through for Nova Scotia. Came down out there, eh? That's a 278 kick. Quite honest with you, I didn't think we'd get to this point. The way it started, I thought the inconsistency of Team Canada would build up against them. And at 5 1, I thought there was no chance, really, considering the way they were playing. But with this throw through, we will go to the final end of play. Nova nice Scotia job. will have a 5 4 lead over the defending champions, and they'll also have the all important hammer when we come back to Charlottetown. comparison when you look at it it was over of course in seven 11 three when they met in round robin now we go to the 10th 5-4 Nova Scotia the Scott Tournament of Hearts championship is on the line here in the final end and the team from Halifax has the hammer 80s. and this stone now the first lead stone from Kate Horn you know they're going to take the time on this stone because this is the one if it's in the free guard zone and Nova Scotia has to decide how to deal with it or Team Canada can go for the steal. 87. Yep. yep. All the way. All the way. Yes, all the right way. There. All yep. the way, all the way. Hard. Yep. Yes. Hard. 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 
go, guys. Right up tight. Right up tight. Come on. Lean on it. Lean on it. Good job. So the off, just the off center guard. We've seen the tick attempted many different ways. Nova Scotia plays this whoa, with weight. Just hack. Oh, whoa, Tries whoa, to just whoa, move whoa, it whoa, off. Of course, if the guard goes whoa. out of play, either touching the side or goes across the back line, Board even. a penalty can be incurred, yeah. and Team Canada like can that. ask the guard to come back. It was probably bored, too. Yeah. Two seconds. It's OK. What? No, but it might have bumped it in. Going through. Are you sure? Do you think it was going through? Yeah, it was almost take away. It's no question. Well, I don't know about that. Team I. Of course, the non-offending team can allow the play to stand. That is the discussion. Okay, what would the Rock have done? You're not actually supposed to stop the Rock. You're supposed to let the play finish. And Colleen appeared to ask Kathy to stop it. Appeared to, yes. I thought so, too. Okay, we can get an 85 out here. Okay. I'm going to try for 80. Yeah, 80 is good, Katie. Another one? How are you going in? I think they're talking about just uh, coming around it a little bit and maybe keeping it short. What you don't want to do is be deep on this. Yep. You've got Line's pro good. side is short. <laughs> Wait's good. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. So everything's good about this one. The second from Kate Horn. Line, line. wait. Line. Oh, come on. Go, 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 go. Slowly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep. Hurry, right there. No, go, 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 go. Nice shot. you have? I've got almost half. Okay. Uh, regular. If you get the front, that's fine. Yeah. Either one, she's saying. Yep. Yep. Hurry. Hurry. Whoa. Hurt. Hurt. Okay. Oh. Way over. Pushes That's it fine. to That's good. cover the eight. It's all those emotions that you have to keep in control. Well, in fairness to Nancy, I mean, they uh, they were playing the back one and, uh, and they called the brushing all the way down to get the back one. And unfortunately, it, uh, it's easy. It's hindsight. It's a wonderful thing. <laughs> you should have le left it and got the peel, but it looked like it had the back one all the way and then just curled a little at the end. The only reason that Nova Scotia up, went after no, the back one no, at all is because up. it's in a great spot, so tight to the button. Mine's good. It's only Whoa. half. It's tight. It's Whoa. In. Not too tight. Coming tight. No, a little bit. Whoa. No. There's a line. Good shot. Wow. Oh, so problem that's a good shot even though it doesn't cover the back one it's a very very good shot and Colleen wants to roll away from here you don't want to sit there you don't want to hit this on the nose you don't even want the roll into the button to be covered you don't want Whoa, anything in that forefoot yep. Yep. you Hi. saw that Team Canada has been fairly successful Whoa. in stealing Whoa. ends through the entire week and Nova Scotia has Stay given honey. up their doesn't fair share yeah. Team Canada was actually the stingiest of <laughs> giving up steals in round round of play Out turn, come around. Bend to Bomer. They have the center guard up. Line's good. Lots of weight. Lots of weight. No. Oh, off. Lots of weight. Spanish. Lots of weight. No. We're back 12. Short is fine here. Coming down. Can't here be comes. Long. Still Can't coming be long. down. Sit. It. We're back. We're T line. T line. T line. Yep. Take it back. I got it. I got it. Sure. And it'll take it back, back edge of the four. Peel then, eh? Colleen. Peel. Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's go, Mary Ann. Just worry about one. Trying to 
watch the jam. Good shot. Very nice. That's a very nice shot. She got them all going. I'm not sure she was playing it that way, but. And the nice thing for Nova Scotia is that red stone that is shot rock belonging to Team Canada is deep. It's at the back of the forefoot, not quite as a great spot as earlier in the sand when they had one nearer the button and tee line. Well, you get no, line's good. Wolfie well, we can. We got a bend. We got a bend. A lot. Got a bend. Got a bend. Got a bend. Way yep. up there. Yep. 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 Let's finish it. Yep. Yep. Piece of ice, huh? Is it, did you get outside a little bit? Like, just stay there? Again? That like might have been the case. I mean, the only other thing can be just back. She can only make it better. Okay. Good point, Nancy. You uh, go after the back one and then she'll put it in front of the T line, fully buried. No! Never! No! Clean? Kim Kelly. No. Little piece, go, baby! Good enough. Get out! Get out! Is it out, Collie? It's out. Okay. And okay. it listened. <coughs> you were right. You should have known about money. You should have known that I'd be right. I know. <laughs> I'll give it to you on this one. Million dollars to the winner. Anderson consulting match play. The Whoa. final coming up after Whoa. our coverage. Whoa, whoa, girls, don't let it slide. We're close. Tight. Tight whoa. to the house, not in. Whoa, just cleaning, whoa. just cleaning. Whoa. Tight to the house, not in. Let it die, yep. let it die, Tight. let it die. It's coming. Tighting. Whoa. No, it's Tight. No. Good. Good Good eyes. Get it pretty thick, Kim. So Sorry. You're playing a PO, but thicker. Okay, okay, sure. Big peel. Whoa. No, again. We're fine. Yep, yep. Good well throwing. done. Nice peel. <sighs> so it comes down now to the skip stones. I like to your breath. Kathy Borst will put a guard up. If it's peeled off, then they have to decide, Team Canada, where their final stone will go, how deep to bring it in. What you want Colleen Jones to face on her last rock. So they'll be thinking ahead on that one. I think when you look back through the week, uh, for sure, I think you'd like to make the opposing skip draw if possible. There was a lot of draws missed, draws not quite as. But Colleen made a great draw back in the uh, sixth end to get two, so. A nice round of applause from the sold-out Civic Center for Straight PLA. Colleen Straight Jones. Peel. Okay, I think so. Yeah. Well, throw the intern, right? Yeah, but she threw that draw there last time. Thirteen so times. This is well, them. Thirteen times to the yeah. Scott Derma Hearts. Thirteen yeah. game of the week. God, I gotta say that's tempting. To do what? The double. Double. Yeah. I like the peel. I mean, it'll be interesting yeah. to see chance to go back it's to the world okay. neighboring right. st. John New Brunswick 
That's right. She has a Canadian mixed. To her credit with Paul Fleming. Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! No! Whoa! Not a brush to it. Clean. Yeah, you're okay. Clean Good shot. Out a girl. And get it out of there. Now what do you do, Team Canada and Kathy Boyd? We heard Heather and Kathy talking about what they want to leave Colleen. There was a difference of opinion, I believe. One thinking maybe they should leave her that same interim draw, Ray, and the other thinking maybe she made it too well in that sixth end. Well, the interim draw that uh, Linda's talking about is the one she made in the sixth end when she drew uh, for the extra point and made it perfectly. Uh, if you come in here and, and, and put, leave her a little corner of this one, by putting the rock into this area okay. here. But they're playing the guard, I believe, Linda, the same guard and leaving the draw. So same way as I remember I think so. earlier you suggested maybe bring it over a little bit more towards center line, force her to go out a little bit more. Same thing apply here. Well, it really depends what you want to leave her. If you want to tease her with an outside Mine's corner, good. yes, Vic, you try to over curl the rock a little bit more on the center line side. Mine's good. good. Got to bend. Where are we? 12 foot. Yes. 12 foot. We're on 12 foot. It's gliding. It's gliding. We're 12. 12 foot at least. Yes. Maybe eight. Yes. Eight. 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 eight foot. Yeah, Whoa. 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 We can freeze it. We can freeze it. Yep, 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 yep. Right down on top. Oh. I feel the same weight. Same what? Same weight or left? Yeah. I had Almost left. identical kicks. It was weird. The but weight on that one quick. seemed perfect, and it just off. kept going. Yeah, and she said she felt you to the same weight. So Coming she's going to play the. That double at this? Right just a nose, nose hit. Right just a nose hit. Just, just stay right there. Just sit right there. If it's she rolls off, double. it will be a steal, but you can't chance leaving those two sitting there. Nova Scotia with the one point lead. Sitting just behind the T line. It all comes down to this a nose hit. You play all season. Play all your life, and she has played a lot. 23 national championships she's been to. Unbelievable record, and it comes down to this shot. An outturned nose hit. A trip to the world championship. Colleen Jones. Yep. Yeah. Out of her hand, Delahunt. Way trying to hold it for her. Kim Kelly urging them on. They can't afford to roll. Gotta sit right there. Don't roll. of emotions, a lifetime of emotions, all bundled up into those small frames. Out it oozes, out it comes. Wonderful shot. Peter Cork on their coach. And disappointment for Kathy Borst. And Team Canada, she will not wear the jacket next year. Pauline Jones, the 82 Canadian champion. Yeah. Wins her second title and becomes the first player to win two national championships <laughs> in the same year. <laughs> they brushed it all the way, Linda. They hammered it all the way. It's a big one. I was so impressed with Colleen at the Mixed Championship earlier in January and all week here. She's been just solid on every shot, and that's an example. That's the win. Colleen Jones, Nova Scotia for the Mayflower.
Curling Club in Halifax, they're the champs. And now it's time for the TSN turning point, Ray. Well, Linda, you, you could talk about her last shot, which was a great one, but really this game was turned around in the sixth end when Colleen Jones makes a wonderful draw to the forefoot for her second point. Draw weight was elusive all week, but not this time. She puts the draw into the forefoot, gets the two points, a 4-1 lead. That's your turning point. They played magnificent the rest of the game through. And it was a Nova Scotia win. A cash donation will be made to the Coaching Association of Canada for the training and development of coaches in amateur sport on behalf of TSN and Super 8. With an, over 1,600 locations throughout North America, life's great at Super 8. And now for the presentation of the championship trophy, we go to Vic Router. And life's great for Colleen Jones out of the Mayflower in Halifax, the 1999 Scott Tournament of Hearts champions. Congratulations to them, along with the president of the CCA, Judy Vino. Mr. Dave Erskine is the president and CEO of Scott Papers. Sir, it's yours. Colleen, congratulations. Kim, Marianne, Nancy, Laney, and Peter. Your strong play through this week carried through today. And what a thrill it's going to be to uh, play in the Worlds and, and bring that uh, World Championship back home where it belongs in Canada. Congratulations. Thank you, Dave. Thank you very much. I feel like I worked for Scott Paper. <laughs> you did today. <laughs> Congratulations to you. If I might, Mr. Erskine, just get in front of you just for a second, sir. I apologize. Congratulations. It's been a long time. And when you think about uh, 84 and losing here and then coming back here, it might uh, be bittersweet now for you. But... It, it, it was never bittersweet to start with. I always uh, had very fond memories of curling in Charlottetown in the final in 84. And to come back and play in front of this crowd yeah. was absolutely awesome. You guys are the best fans, and I want you all to come to St. John, New Brunswick for the world. But I, but I also have to say, uh, on behalf of my team, there have been times in our career that we stopped dreaming the dream, and we never let it go, though. Right. And I think we are proof that if you can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> if you have the determination and the guts and never quit, um, you can be here. You curled marvelously the entire team, uh, the entire week. You lose the three at the end, but you bounced back. And I think there were some doubters among those who watched. Uh, did you ever doubt yourself? No, I didn't, because the final two games of the round robin particularly weren't they were important, but they didn't matter. We knew we could come out focused for the playoffs. There's that extra bit of adrenaline. I think all our hit weight was 20 feet extra than what it should have been. But um, y you know come the playoffs is the time you want to get on your roll and get hot. And uh, uh, these gals in front of me play so solidly. And um, as my sister Barb says, they deserve to win for putting up with me. <laughs> Now, we know that you have deliberately slowed yourself down, that you are, in fact, a little... You go back and you take the sip of water. Take us through that final shot and knowing that you need the hit for two. I love an O-turn hit, uh, and so that was nice to get. I was a little tempted to play softer weight in order to uh, just make the nose and stay. But anyhow, it worked out perfect. Congratulations, Colleen. We look forward to seeing you at the Ford Worlds in St. John, New Brunswick. TSN is pleased to present the Scott Tournament of Hearts Final, brought to you by Scott Paper. And now you can add the name of Colleen Jones to the championship list. The last half dozen, headed by Nova Scotia. And as the uh, closing ceremonies begin, we appreciate you coming by. How difficult is it for you? Well, we're disappointed. You know, we worked hard all year, and uh, we came up a little short today. We weren't playing our best, and they played a really good game, and they deserve to win. 
Linda and Ray suggest that your advantage might be experience. I found it a little interesting that you seem to, as a team, be struggling early. I think it, we had difficulty with the weight today. It was uh, it seemed to be heavier in the middle than it was in the last couple games, and it and it cost us because we really weren't as sure of our weights today as we were in the last two games. Kathy, thank you. Wonderful champion. Thank you very much. Kathy Borst. Disappointment for Team Canada. Colleen Jones and Nova Scotia are the champions for 99. Colleen Jones and her team from Halifax, the Scott Tournament of Hearts champions. The Anderson match play final is coming up here on TSN. Now on behalf of Linda Ray and our entire crew, a sincere thanks to the people of Charlottetown. Canada's most comprehensive curling coverage is here on TSN.